All right, so Final Fantasy VII Remake, Crisis Core 2. Good times, good times. We have snuck into the lobby of Shinra, which is a place, oh, I, oh, saved. Oh, yes, save, load. Is a place that I remember and even recognize from Crisis Core, because you spend a lot of time going back and forth with the Crisis Core with the Shinra headquarters because like that's that's your home base and uh and also it's like let me know like if this is the camera I, I I've, I've got a new camera set up thing so if it's like too close we can like push it back um but no you like it, it's, it's your home base you go back and forth and back and forth every time you leave you come back and you shh, fry sauce we're gonna give our character credit for their their stunning display of stealth because if there's one thing Barrett is good at it's sneaking <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to figure out bit 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 bit. Eh. Sorry. Um Ah hold on. I've got a bunch of stuff. Yeah, well cause like cause like I come in here and I'm like, alright, and I think I went over this last time too, that uh that like you come here, you go to the desk, you flirt with the lady at the desk. Oh, I'm completely off. There we go. How's that? Is that better? <laughs> There we go. Yes. Excellent. Um, but, uh, would Bear fit in Metal Gear? I don't know. But, but like, so, so Zach would come here and be like, hi lady, I'm going to flirt good naturedly. And she's like, oh, Zach, we all love you. And then I'd go running up this thing, but I don't get to do that because there's these things that I'm incapable of moving. Like they're not even like, they're not even permanently stuck to the ground. Look at that. See, like you can tell that they're not, they're not, they're not like welded down to the floor or anything. Um, is it the crisis core, the core of the crisis? Maybe so. Um, but it's really cool to come here and see it with this more like interactive. Oh, what was that camera? Or is that light? Is that a light? Those are light fixtures. Those are really weird light fixtures. Huh. Look at that. Do you see them? It's really cool. This really does feel like a real place. Somebody was telling us last week that the uh, the uh, architecture of Shinra headquarters um, and of Midgar in general is based on some sort of like cutting edge era of Japanese architecture. So there's actually, I don't know if there's actual like actual really built buildings or if it's just like plans that are out there or something like that um but i think that's super cool because it doesn't look like it doesn't it doesn't look impossible or like unrecognizable but it does look other if that makes sense so i have to go check this out what's going on over here we got I guess check in and pay your bills. We've got, what are these? Are these like call people in the building? Brandy, thank you. <laughs> well, welcome, welcome. I'm excited to have uh, to have YouTube friends joining us. That's always exciting to, I, I think a lot of our, our regulars started that way, so. Yeah, I think this must be then I guess how you reach out to, um, one thing that I noticed when I was in Japan uh, visiting was that like the, the, the shapes of things like and the spacing of things is, is different from country to country. Um, so like the like rounded boxness of this without tons of wasted space around the edge, like it just it has like a look that like if I hadn't seen like what like things look like in Japan, I'd be like, oh, they must have come up with that feel of design for this game specifically. But no. Um, it's like some of the, the animations of how characters move and things. You might think like, oh, that's just how like the people in this game or in games move. But like it's more like cultural norms of like the way you bow and things like that. I don't know. It's interesting. Um, so, ah, man, do you, do, you, do you really want me to go off about, about brutalism and architecture? I have opinions. For somebody who has absolutely no education whatsoever on architecture, I have the thoughts. Um, which mostly some, some too, um, I'm, I'm really sorry that we've stopped making things pretty for the sake of pretty or comfortable for the sake of comfortable. 
Um, I think that uh, I think that brutalism is an interesting thing that reflects on culture, but I also think that it helps shape society. Um, and like, it's kind of a shame that so many buildings these days are designed to have this like, like extreme harsh look, you know? And then you get things like, um, and I don't know how directly related this is or if it's indirectly related, but you get things like, um, people can't sit here. Yes, discomfort as a sign of power or class. I think that makes sense for early trolls. Well, think about, think about the difference between your, like, your living room and your sitting room. Like, think about the, uh, hostel architecture. Thank you. I knew there was a term for it. Um, and that is the official... That is the, the term for it. Um, and I wonder if different countries have different approaches to that sort of thing, too, depending on how they think about taking care of the people around them. Um, and, and, and this is completely not directly related to Final Fantasy VII Remake, but I can totally bring it back around. Um, but, uh, well, no, no. But so Commodore, it's not like... The, the looking at the like stark lines and the imposing shapes and the lack of organic humanity um, that's not necessarily what makes it hostile the like um, putting prickly things at the edges of things so people can't sit on them putting um, putting arms in the middle of benches so people can't lay down on them um, making it so that the, the point of it isn't to be a space in which people can live and sit comfortably that takes care of the culture around it but instead is is this like foreboding like forbidding exclusive excluding thing um where the, the or, or or yes i mean in that case the point of it is to is to to drive off homeless people um, and then there's, um, like, 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 like entire rooms, furniture that you're not supposed to sit on, things you're not supposed to use, um, or the, the point of it is to be showy and impressive, but not, not lived in? Just like food that is designed to be interesting, novel, uncomfortable, but not, not enjoyable in a like delicious or comforting sort of way um yeah no th that's the thing I don't know that I'm saying that brutalism and hostile architecture are the same but I actually feel that there's something about removing I feel that brutalism remo removes the human element from architecture and I feel that that reflects certain values that society holds and that um, hostile architecture is that taken to an extreme where where brutalism I feel and, and again I'm not I'm not a, a student of architecture so I'm sure that there are ways in which brutal brutalism is supposed to be perhaps more human than it seems to me but for me it feels less human and, and maybe I'm mistaking it for something else um, but uh, but like I there's just such a trend towards like disconnect and dehumanization and efficiency um, throughout all of society. There we go. I'm like this is actually directly tied to the world building in Final Fantasy VII Remake, um, and and I would like to see more of the ugly, messy humanity come back. I would like to see us allow ourselves to be imperfect. I would like for us to accommodate human needs and 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 day-to-day -day existence um and to do pretty things for the sake of them being pretty and comfortable things for the sake of them being comfortable um we're yeah we're talking about architecture kenny and society um and so like if okay so we look around here and this is you know this this has seating areas but if you look at the material that's used for them um the the priority here i mean who here has sat on leather or synthetic leather like that? Um, I grew up in Texas where you're often hot and sweaty and sitting down on something like that when you come in from the hot, sweaty out outdoors is, is deeply uncomfortable. Um, and 
Yeah, and, and like Commodore, like that's okay. So Commodore raises the question: if you remove the human elements, but you make it more e ecologically sound, um, that's a really good question, and that's something I think that. Um, Yes, Dem Demi, that's why most people in Texas have light-colored interiors of their cars, and a lot of them are cloth. Um, but, but I think that that's a question that, that architecture students and scholars and, and, and professionals should be asking themselves. How do we balance having something feel human and comfortable and welcoming and, and, and beautiful and, and, and irregular and perfect or something like that, and still find a way for something to be ecologically sound? Is there a way to do that? Um, I don't know, but like if we look at this, if we look at th th this this um, beautiful seating, like it's 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 stunning. It's probably extraordinarily expensive. Like if I were building something in The Sims, this would definitely be on the higher end of things, and it would have some fancy European name that I can't pronounce. Um, but I wouldn't want to sit on that. Would you want to sit on that? Probably not. It would be uncomfortable. Um, like the material clings to your legs if you're wearing shorts or a short skirt. Um, it's and it's not designed to be comfortable. Um, and like over here, you know, like this is more comfortable, but it's it's not like that's not the priority. Oh, look at this! There is a treasure chest. I'm rewarded. I am rewarded for being randomly off topic. Um, but yeah, so it's incredibly low to the ground, but that's not necessarily like I, I feel like that might be that might be a cultural thing. So. Man, solar punk aesthetic. I have, um, okay, you probably won't be able to see, but I have on my wall, actually, a solar punk picture that I bought from an artist who I love. Um, yeah, I don't know how they, how they keep the plants going here. They may even just be artificial plants, you know? Like, these, these could be, could be, there's, there's no way of knowing if they're real or not. Um, but we're gonna, we're just gonna, like, walk around and look through here. Um. I mean, they've got cameras. They know we're here. They know we're here. You know? Like, there's no way they don't know. <laughs> I suppose so, Desmaya. So these are the elevators, which look like the tube in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Kind of. No! No, they don't. They look like experimental Mako torture experiment shoot tubes. That's what they look like. That's why I have an association with them in this game. Hojo is a bad man. And I don't like him. So interesting. Like, so like we go out here. Sorry, we're just like taking, we're taking a look at the architecture. But this really does look like, this looks like it could be a real place. Like this looks like a high end shopping mall to me that has, or like, the, I mean, I guess we're the lobby of a corporate building, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's so interesting how real it feels. You come through here and you're like, yes, but a smart architecture person who isn't me would be able to say this is designed so that when you walk in, you experience a feeling of how small you are and how big Shinra is because like it's it's actually um probably very inefficient to have something this tall um so in in, in Texas uh where I grew up in the Dallas area the, when you walk in the entryway is frequently two stories high which is very very inefficient because it's pretty hot you have to air condition that um, whereas if you have like, you know, one level and then another level and then another level, it seems like it would probably be easier to heat or to keep cool. Um, but, but this is designed, everything here is designed to show how big it is and to make you feel small. Um, because things are intentionally designed and, and, but also like the the fact that they've got this kind of like almost exposed look with these pipes um given that Shinra is is a power company um that's that's what they what they started oh yeah no they don't well they don't care about efficiency so the whole thing about not caring about efficiency is in itself that is a flex you know like we don't even have to care we don't even have to care about how much it costs to keep this sort of thing cool in the summer um but but yeah, like if you look at if you look at this, do you, you see? 
um, this sort of exposed pipe works that they've got and and I mean that doesn't look like it's actually functional or not but that looks like a, a walkway um, and so the so the designs um, the design of the interior here is reminiscent of the reactors um, which makes sense since it is like the the corporate headquarters of the power company um, and that's what they're known for and 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 I mean also Midgar in general has a lot of those things going on like it has the walkways and that sort of thing um, but I think that that's what they're going for here um, and it's it's very effective because these could just be purely like you see there's sleek walls down here they could just be sleek walls all the way up there having this exposed almost industrial look is, a, is an intentional decision that they made to have an effect so there you go 15 minutes talking about architecture and the interior design. I want to go in there because I went in there. I had to fight a bunch of dudes. Didn't I have to fight my way into or out of headquarters at some point in Crisis Core? I swear I did. Oh, poor Zack. So, how do we get upstairs? Well, we walk up Either them. The elevator. Or the emergency stairwell. Isn't the lab we're looking for on one of the top floors? I think we take the elevator. Do I have choices? Don't tell me. Oh my god, okay. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Well, if we take the elevator, that's a shortcut. I don't want to take a shortcut. The only time I ever want to take shortcuts is on my way back. So, I'm going to take up, take the stairs. It's like a bazillion floors, too. This could be great. Oh my god, my calves are going to be so buff by the time I'm done with this. Alright. I mean, we know that they know we're coming. Where's the, where's the stairs? I should know this. I feel like I should know this because I feel like I took the stairs sometimes in Crisis Core. I mean, this is a staircase. Oh, look at that, that motorcycle. Oh, we didn't fight motorcycle in the parking garage. I really thought we were going to. Okay, hold on. I gotta look around. What is this? Ooh. Let me through, let me through, let me through, let me through. No, that looks like elevators. I don't want the elevators. All oh, right. Mini map. Mini map. Yeah, buttons. And so here we've got our nice like cyberpunk blue. Mako, Mako blue green. This color right here, it's not just cyberpunk. This is Mako color right here. But notice it's different. That's blue down there. And then this is Mako colored up here. Hmm, but then we go back here and it's, it's, it's blue. Like it's just the colors are different, that's interesting. I wonder whose motorcycle this is that gets place of pride. Oh, there's a cafe. Oh my God, there's a cafe, guys. And see, this is actually designed to be used. So, what have we got going on here? Oh, I wanna look at the menu. I wanna look at the menu. Oh, what does it say? What does it say? What does it say? Oh my gosh. Can I? Uh, no. I don't think I get to read it. Oh, it's so sad. I don't know if they have ramen. Wait, kitten burgers? Don't eat kitten burgers. Burgers for kittens, maybe. Oh my. Wait. Ah, take that, Shinra! <laughs> yes! This is the best! This is the best! I'm so excited right now. I want an achievement in a video game for knocking over all the furniture. I would get it anyway, but I just, I, I like knowing that, that things are designed for people like me. I'm a very serious player. Oh my god. <laughs> the janitor would not like me. No, that's true. I'm a true furniture terrorist over here. Ah! No chair left standing! How'd we do? How'd we do? 
Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We're gonna do something really important here. I know you're all here because you want to see me cry at video games, but also I have to knock the chairs down the stairs. Did you know that chairs and stairs rhyme? Oh my god, this is the best. This is the best. One of these days I'll play a Katamari game on stream and you'll see. <laughs> come on, come on, we can do this. <sighs> Thank you, Nightwind. Well, we're gonna write a Dr. Seuss book right here. Oh my god, come on. I'm trying, I'm trying so hard. Okay, okay, we're, we're getting there. Wait, 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 we went too far. Hold on. I'm trying to keep up with chat, but also I'm trying to do the very important work of knocking a chair down the staircase. Oh my god. If I could knock over the tables. I'm sorry, Barrett, but you're in the way of my chair! Go! Have they developed physics to knock the chair down the stairs? This is the best thing that's ever happened. Oh my god. <laughs> Can I push it down the escalator? Can I push it down the escalator? Let's, let's see it. Let's see it. Let's see it. <laughs> they're just like watching this on their on their, their security feed and they're just like, what? What is going on? These people managed to give us a hard time. I mean, only sort of. Like, let's be real. No! God. <laughs> oh, this is so great. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, did I just knock it through? Oh, it clipped through. Amazing. 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 So good. Okay, we're going to take the escalator. Hey, have I talked yet? <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about culture have i talked about escalators yet did i talk about escalators last stream oh blade tiger that, there you go somebody make that blade tiger quote put that in flutie bot's quote okay we're gonna talk about escalators because i don't think i have oh i did i did okay never mind i'm just really excited about that okay look at look at look at cool guy cloud look at how he stands look at him cool guying just like I'm too cool to stand on one thing. Okay, I did talk about it. All right, well, anyway, I'm really excited about that and I'm gonna run up these stairs. Where did my chair go again? Ha, ha, I did it, I did it. I'm a very serious, serious gamer. Man, if I did this, Zach, Zach would totally like, so the thing is, Zach, Zach would be like, let's like have fun with this, but then he would carry every single chair back up where it goes and he would put it in its place. And then he would exchange a pleasant conversation with the janitor. <laughs> oh man, I love Zach. He's such a sweet boy. Clear icicle. I want to find the stairs. Where are the stairs? Where are the stairs? I'm just gonna knock these over while we try to figure out where the stairs are. Okay. So here is one way. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna look here. Building intel. Oh, but I wanna go through there. Emergency exit. That sounds like what I want. What is this? Exhib I want that. I want that. I wanna go into the exhibition hall. I go to the exhi exhibition hall so badly. So what is this? I'm gonna do it. Wait, hold on. <clears throat> I have to ask. I have to ask a very carefully attacked. Very careful. I'm sorry. I saw the word attack. <laughs> hold on. No, I can't pull my. I can't pull my sword out. I'm indoors. That would be like. That would be like pulling out your umbrella and opening it. Cloud won't do that. Okay, so I really want to go in here. Yes or no question. Can I go in here and still do the other things I want to do? Okay, Demi, Demi is, is, is saying yes. Okay. Because I really want to go in there. I 
I'm so excited. Yes! What? Excuse me? Where am I gonna get a key card? Where am I gonna get a key card? I need a key card, okay. Hold on, this is important. No, I have to get there. Where's a key card? Where's a key card? Maybe somebody who works at the cafe left a key card? Can I just like, give me an interact button and just like vault over there and start looking around for a key card. I know, they've denied me access. So uncool, I'm so peeved. I want to go in there. All right, so this looks like where I'm, no, I'm not taking the elevator, I'm taking the emergency exit because that's, that's where the stairs are. And we're gonna take the stairs because there's, what? Hold on, are you gonna make me go this way? chair catastrophe. It is a chair catastrophe. <sighs> okay. No getting upstairs without a key card, huh? I think we're gonna need a few before this is over. Welcome to Resident sure Evil. I saw one lying around. Thanks, Cloud. Where? Oh, the reception desk. How are we gonna get yeah, in there? but how to get in? It's a good question. We can't so get into the top. Over, maybe? Can we? Is that a kind of force field? Look. Yeah. 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 Sure we could reach it yeah. I totally said that. I noticed the lights already. I'm very proud of myself right now. How's the audio balance, by the way? I think I'll give it a shot. Huh? As the lightest one here, I figure I've got the best. Chance. She's also the most acrobatic, acrobatic one. No. Oh man, I get to play as her. All right, so we're gonna turn the audio up a little bit. Which one do we turn up? I'm trying to remember, okay. All right, you're gonna have to give me feedback on how this is. Oh, oh, oh do I have any, is there anything else that I get an option for? Come on, come on, come on. Salishian, thank you for following. Welcome to Lauren Parkour's as Tifa. Okay, it doesn't appear there's anything else I can interact with. Tifa, I like you. Okay. All right, Tifa, you ready? We're gonna do it. Okay, guys, wish me luck. You be careful. Aren't I always? She is pretty careful. Okay, this music sounds like something from the original Deus Ex. <sighs> music doing there's got to be other stuff I can do no I appear to be on rails oh this is good song I mean these are pretty serious cables Chrono! Thank you for subscribing. 32 months is a long time. I appreciate it. I appreciate everyone's support, though, whether you subscribe or just tune in. Oh, oh, oh! Oh! Are you okay? I thought I was dead for sure. I thought we were gonna watch her like break and have to load my save and I was gonna be really sad. I did not see how Cloud came running. He's a good sweet boy. Oh look where I am. There's cars and stuff in here. Oh no, this isn't, okay. This was here the whole time? Did I just not observe these when I was playing? Oh my God. Is there a section I didn't visit? Oh, I'm so disappointed in myself. Look at this. We got some trains. 
Whoa, I saw a whole bunch of trains. But they're like recreations of trains. Gonna suplex the train, Tifa? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm contractually obligated to make Final Fantasy VI references wherever possible. Look at these cars. This is an ugly motorcycle, but it looks like it's designed for smacking into things instead of being pretty. Man, somebody at Shinra really likes fancy shiny things, vehicles and stuff. Wait, where am I? What is this? Where am I? Did I come through here before? Where's the thing I'm trying to get to? Hold on. I'm entirely, entirely disoriented. Where am I? Oh, I did fall behind. Okay. Okay. So this isn't where I've been before. Okay. Okay, so that's the... Mm. All right, so now I have to find my way around. Oh, look at this. Getting lost means you get a treasure chest. And you get a treasure chest and you get a treasure... I, you know, I'd be okay if, if motorcycles showed up. So... I read that excerpt from Shinra High last time. I literally don't know which character was the redhead who was bragging about stealing a motorcycle or whatever. I literally don't know if that was Reno or motorcycle. Because I was like half asleep when I wrote it. So I don't remember what was going through my head. Okay, there's got to be a way to get back up there. Okay, so there's the trains. There's a motorcycle. Is motorcycle not a redhead? Oh, I thought he was a... Okay. Or Johnny. It could have been Johnny. It could have been Johnny. That's what I meant. Johnny. Because that's the sort of thing Johnny would do, too. You know? That's what I meant. I meant Johnny. So we think it's Johnny? Okay. Let's go with Johnny. Where do I go? Hold on. I'm stuck. I'm not like stuck stuck. Don't worry. I have not given up yet. I just have to figure out what I'm supposed to be doing here. Alright, well if the if the class has voted for that to be Johnny. It could be Johnny. What am I supposed to do? Okay, I slow down. I can't do that. How do I get back? Oh! I'm just gonna parkour on the roof of cars. You know, no big deal. Why am I parkouring on those? What's, what's going on? Wait, that... I recognized, I recognized some of the, yes, that's, that's the opening, the, music, that's the opening music, okay, okay, Tifa, I don't know what else I can do, I don't know why I'm doing this, so can I, like, push the cars? I feel like I'm overlooking something really obvious. Story. I tried to jump across the light fixture. Can I like climb this? No. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Man, the music is good. It's so good. Where can I jump? What can I interact with? Can I just like start climbing on things? Man, this see, this would be a good time for me to talk about architecture because I don't have anything else to that I'm doing in game. Okay, so I'm just running along the circumference to make sure that I'm not overlooking something there. 
circumnavigating the room. Yeah, well, I mean, Shinra makes cool tech. Haha! -ha! Okay, jumped on that. Jumped on that. Okay, cool. We're just gonna like parkour our way up here. Is that a boombox? What is that? Hold on, I gotta look around. Amazing. Okay, Tifa. This is awesome. She's really cool. She has high, like, coolness factor. Can I? Yes, I can. I don't know where I'm going with this, but I'm doing it. I'm just gonna go some weird convoluted way because I can. Oh, yeah. Treasure chest. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Why would I want a pair of purple paint? Are those gloves, actually? That sounds like weapon. Weapon. Words. Am I correct? Yes, I am. Ooh, look at how, like, cool and stylish. Yes. Okay. Upgrade weapons. Tifa. Weapon upgrade settings. There we go. Balanced. Yes. Oh, man. Okay, hold on. I'm going to give her some materia. What materia am I going to give her? Okay, I previously had this one on her. And I previously had... I like that it shows you what they most recently had equipped. So that if you do what I just did, you can then easily reslot. Man, that's cool. I was wondering if it was going to go with her outfit, but it does seem to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there are things that I'll spend a million hours on. I spent a long time prepping my characters for things like hitting, um, uh, what's his butt in the face with a nail bat. I feel like these are important things. Um, is there anything else I can get to now that... Hmm. No, we're gonna do this. I do spend a lot of time gawking at the scenery. You know, but I did, I did spend a lot of time every time I have to prep to fight Corneo. But then I never fight him. Hand over hand, huh? That's fine. Bring it on. Haha! <laughs> That's right, Tifa. I like it. She's being a little bit cocky. I mean, she might as well, you know? She just almost fell to her death. I was really concerned. I thought that she was going to break something on her body there. Okay. Hold on. Oh. Oh. Can I go? Oh, look at that. Whoa. Hold on. Sorry, Tifa. Good thing she doesn't have a stamina bar. Oh, my God. You know, Brenneman, I didn't even know you were here, but I saw a pun and I was like, is that Brenneman? And it was in fact Brenneman. <laughs> oh man. I'm just like, oh man. Sorry, I'm, I'm having, I'm having fun trying to figure out what I can do here. Okay. That, that, you hear that? That's the. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know that is, that is, that is the thing that I, that I, that I'm saying it is, it's the thing, the thing, the thing that it is, it is, it is the thing. Okay, we can do this. Yes, Panamania would in fact be an accurate summary of my friend Brenneman's way of being. Okay, hold on. So I gotta make sure there's not some other secret way I can go. Did I do that already? Yes, I did. Is there anything else I can see? <gasps> Bam! I jumped! <laughs> Thank you, Renamania! Oh, Thank you! So, can somebody give a shout out to Renamania? It's exclamation point S-O, and then Brennamania. OK. 
Okay, did I do this right? Is there anywhere else I could have gone? No, I don't think so. I think this is it. I think this is the option that I have. Um. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, it may be something that only a mod can do, actually. Is there anywhere else I can go? No, that light is blocking me. It's a nice way of having it feel like real that they're blocking me, but also block me. Okay. Now what? Oh, okay. Hold on. Okay. So my news. So bad. Oh no, T Tifa! Don't say that. Tifa! Don't Pretty say close that. Now. Just need to make it over there. We're gonna go this way. All right. I don't know exactly what's gonna happen, but we're doing it. I'm sorry, folks. I'm like so. I like my new setup a lot, but um, but it doesn't make it easier to see chat. Okay, hold on. Light fixture scaffolding. Oh, is this the way that I had to go? I thought I was being clever, but I guess this is my only option. Well, I'm impressed with myself. Tifa, I'm impressed with us. Are you impressed with us? Hold on, is there anywhere else we can go? We can go there. Oh, that's all we can do. I'm trying really hard to break the system and go where I'm not supposed to go. All right, we're gonna slowly edge around here. Aha. They're like, no, you will not go up this side of the staircase. I'm like, okay, I guess I won't. Almost there. Just need to get across those platforms. I like the touch of her being a little bit out of breath because she's parkouring. Is there anything else I can do here? Can I, can I jump onto... No, I don't want to jump onto that. I'd probably break my ankle. Don't break your ankle, by the way. Uh. Oh, boy. Speaking of the boys. Barrett's over there. Where is Cloud? Where is Cloud? I'm looking for his spiky hair. Where are you, spiky friend? I don't see him. <laughs> Oof! Yeah, well, like, I was kind of expecting him to be... There he is. Hi, Cloud. Oh, I bet that he... You know what he's doing? That is the lowest possible point that he can be at and vault over that side to get in here. If anything happens to her, he is going over that railing. Because he couldn't, he couldn't jump up from there, and if he's any lower down, he wouldn't be able to make it over that force field. That's what he's doing. Oh, Cloud. Oh, boy. Yeah. Hi, Cloud. I like that touch. Yeah, no, he's like willing to risk breaking a limb to help her. Oh, God. Okay. Ah. Got it. I fly Prince of Persia Sands of Time. How are you going to get out of there? <laughs> That's a fine word. She's on the other I might be able to disable security from here. Ooh. Huh? Ha, hot damn, girl. No, no, she didn't do that, did she? I, I didn't do anything. Yeah, that's not good. Shit, no, 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 no. No, 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 Huh. Guess we can only get to the 59th floor via the elevators or stairs. To access any level above that, we need to check in at the Skyview Hall reception. 59th floor it is, then. 
Well, I got her cool weapons. I'm glad she could just walk out of there. Wait, that means that I could just like run in here. Oh, I can't pull out my sword. Listen to the drama music. All right, well, I mean, I already looked through here, but I have to look through here again. I would love to take a car to hit Hojo with. He's just such a disgustingly evil person. Alright, where is it? There it is. <laughs> My handiwork. I have been here! Ha <laughs> ha! No, he does qualify as a person. He's just a terrible one. Yeah. Yes! Yes! Oh, I hope it has things I can read about each of these. Oh, it doesn't. I swear there was a guided tour that talked about some of them. Is that a bell? Or is that part of the music? Man, okay. Um, well? I don't know what that is. Check your items. Is it a weapon? No. Hide of a ferocious beast and it's magenta. Lovely. What is it then? Is it is it armor? Forgoes materia. Huh. Inspired by the ever turning cogs of fate. Who is full of drama? Who is a drama llama? That's good defense, though. That is good defense. If you were like, I don't care about magic. Are you a drama llama, Axel? I'm a little bit of a drama llama myself. Car in the middle. Man, I wonder if we're gonna see... I guess we're probably not gonna see Motorcycle, though, because, like, <clears throat> he needs to be in an open space. And, like, these floors aren't small, but they're not big enough to drive a motorcycle around. I don't think. I mean, maybe. They could prove me wrong. We're gonna take the stairs. I don't want to be on an elevator. I'd rather be on the stairs here. Wait, is this the elevator room? Emergency exit, evacuation route. Yeah, I think this is what we want. Oh man, what was out there? I guess that's the emergency exit part of it. All right, sorry Barrett, you're gonna be sad. This looks like a staircase. My health bars. Oh, it's letting me know I haven't healed Cloud. Oh, I can use my sword? No. You have got to be shitting me. Nope. We're a lot less likely to get caught. Yeah, we're way. not gonna get trapped we're in an like elevator. More likely to die boredom. <sighs> no, I actually genuinely think this is a much smarter idea. Like all the bad guys have to do is cut the cord and you go flying down. It's only 59 floors. Nothing to it. I whatever. Well, at least it ain't a race. Small blessing. <sighs> okay. This is absolutely the right choice, but I can't smash things. I really want to. 
Commands menu. I have a potion? Yeah, look at that. Well, no, I, I, I honestly suspect that everything in their building is securely built. Um, because this is where, like, what they care about is. Can I go out this door? No. Okay. Super. I what it's like up there. More security and restrictions. It's not going to get any easier. We're going to be exhausted by the time we finally get to the top. It's all right. You pace yourself, you'll be fine. That's fair. Maybe we should take a quick break. Come on, Barrett. <laughs> oh, man. Yes! Okay, hold on. Sorry. I know that you... I know that we want to actually reach... Yeah! I am an agent of chaos! <laughs> oh, man. No, it's good. It's good. Well, they wouldn't let me smash the boxes. So I have to show my contempt for Shinra in the only way they given they've given me. Ha! Take that, Shinra. Yeah. Yes, they do show it by your Wait, oh oh oh, everybody's on a higher floor than I am. Look. What are you guys doing? Get your butts back down here. We have boxes to knock over. Excuse me. Administration, hold on. Can I go through there? I want to go through there. Okay, fine. You can stop if you want. You can even say it's for me. Just say you can't hack it. I'll hack you, jackass. <laughs> I'm sorry. I wasn't... Oh my god. He's like defending himself for getting in trouble. That was really adorable and super juvenile. That was adorable. How come I'm slowing down? Am I seriously slowing down? Do I actually have to pace myself? Oh my god. Oh my god. Amazing. Amazing! Oh my god, he's like kind of like pulling himself together. <sighs> Amazing. Tifa, you're so far ahead. I just I have to smash those. Come on, power through it. I guess these labs and shit are all the way at the very top. Yep, the very top. That's good to know. I kicked the box up the stairs. Copy. I don't think I'll keep an eye on Barrett. <laughs> Thanks for the assist. I really, the voice actors are doing a really good job here. And I love this. Sh she's so far ahead. Oh, shush, Cloud. Whatever. You're friends with him. We're going to catch up. We're going to catch up. Hold on. We're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. Come on, Cloud. He's pacing himself. He's hit, he's hit. Come on! Oh my god. We gotta catch up with Barrett. Where are you, Barrett? <sighs> wow, 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 wow. Wow, wow. Do you hear the wow wow? Hey! Just a few floors behind you. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Urban planning. You're better. Think I've got like a snack climb as high. <laughs> like a runner's high. Amazing. We're catching up, Tifa. Oh man. Is the music like warping when I turn? Is my blood pumping in my ears too much? I was. But I'm 
feeling okay now. Oh my god. What are we waiting for? Let's roll. Oh my god, it shows who is like on which floor and like who's on top. Amazing. Barrett has. Oh, I feel bad actually. Hard to argue with that. Let's go. Man, I am so getting left behind in the dust. Cause I was knocking those boxes around. Yeah, I mean my legs would be burning doing this. <clears throat> wow, space and aeronautics. What? We go into space? But tell me. Oh, thank you, Alex. Are these stairs ever gonna end? Oh man, the music is having some trouble. See, that makes sense with just Maya because Stairs are talking. Well, duh. I mean, duh. I was joking. That's the Nelson Oh my god. Whatever, Cloud, you have to keep your cool. This was your idea. I mean, it was my idea, but it was your idea. It was our idea. We had this idea together, Cloud. And we're going to see it through to the end. So I like to take the stairs when I'm staying at conventions. Um, because the elevators either break or are impossible to use on Saturday night. So I've done this with like the 20 something floor, but the 49th is more than I usually do. Worst route ever. Give me a suicidal last day. At least, at least, at least that happened. Oh man. Let's shut up. Cloud! Everybody's grumpy. 59th. Okay. Cool. At least they're actually relatively short staircases, like the individual ones. Ah. Yep. And you're in no state to fight anyway. Oh, I'm glad they're on the same page there. So, what should I do? Shut up and move. Isn't that a GDR song? Oh. What's going on with the music? We've hit the like, just like the robotic, just keep pushing forward thing. Man, Cloud is on his last leg. Oh man, can I just like use like a potion? That did not help. Oh my god. I had to try. Oh goodness gracious me. I mean, to be fair, I would not be doing any better. <clears throat> I would be really delighted if that worked. I would probably be like... This sucks! I wanna go back! No, you don't. You're good. We're almost there. We're almost there. Just a few... Just a few... A few more. I think we should all get stat boosts after this. Or status effects. I'll take either one. Oh my god. How many steps is this? Isn't it Parasite Eve that has like an infinite walk up the stairs final section thing that you can do? Another day. Another struggle. So much trouble. Oh my god. Oh god. Is he crying? I mean, I mean, I mean, like, uh, to be un like, understandable, like, I mean, their legs would be really hurting. Really hurting. Okay, now we take a moment to rest. <sighs> Don't. S Why can we all just stand here silently? 
probably should have paced ourselves better. I was going to. I was going to stop every so often to throw boxes down the floor, but no. You all had to continue, like, professionals. Whooper is, 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 is saying we should stretch. All right, arms over your head, everybody. Let's go. Huh. Oh, Jews! No! Jews! No! No! No, 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 no. 80, 90, 100 percent, 110. Oh no, this is, I was. Super saturation confirmed. They, they were trying to work on this in Crisis Core. They were doing the super saturation thing then. Engaging materia cooling to reduce temperature. They were, they were working on this there. I really don't like her. Madame Director, you have a meeting shortly. Stop. Your timing is impeccably atrocious. Uh, uh. <laughs> Mako density and materia integrity are both holding steady. I feel Registering like mass increase in core materia. I feel like they were working on this during Crisis Core. Okay, someone's helping us. I thought that that was something... I thought that something... Someone... That it was bad that someone had taken away the force field. But now I'm thinking... That somebody helped us there. We're leaving. Material growth accelerating. Outpacing models. Oh, no. No, they're all gonna die. Get out of there! Get out of there. So this is the Skyview Hall, huh? Bet this place cost a fortune in I bet those guys were some of Zach's friends. Well. Yeah, the fact that the guy who was her foot still had to like crawl on his hands and knees after her, like. Wait, 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 wait. There's a person. There's a person. Just like chilling. Hello? Who are you? What's going on? Please, just let my wife and daughter be safe. Okay. We're going to continue on. We're committing hey, to this. Check it out. Come take a look, Cloud. Oh dear, this probably isn't going to be good, is it? I want to see what these people have to say. Who are you? What are you doing here? It's a lounge of some sort. Damn fools. Hmm? Want to come here at night to take in the view. So pretty marvelous and beautiful but every little light burning bright runs off her blood planet juice and bit by bit they bleed her never stopping to think how it'll end for them yep yeah terrible but beautiful all the same yeah now remember my running theme here based on the information we got about they don't even care anymore, is that they found a way to maybe go into space? I don't know, but to not be dependent on Planet Juice anymore. Um, so they're gonna leave all this behind. And screw everybody else. Hello. What are you doing over here? What are they even after? How could they kill so many innocent people? God, that hurts coming from somebody who works for Shinra, you know? How could they kill so many innocent people? Oh my god, this song. This has to be that, ladies.
Hello. What are you talking about? Don't ignore me. I don't know if I can work right now. Okay. No, the song is fine. It's just, it makes me think of that, that lady who's really bad and I don't like her at all. Oh my god, my, my dad thought Captain Pollution was hilarious. Alright. I guess we talk to the AI. Oh. You must be here for our grand tour. Visitors she looks have familiar. To floor 60, 61, 62, as well as floor 63. 64 is what we want. You will proceed in that order. By the exit of each floor. You will find a device that will allow you to update the key card in your possession, thereby allowing you to access the next floor. And now begins your grand tour. Please enjoy the Shinra experience. Why is this whole thing gotta be such a? No, it's it's this man. lady. I don't know about you, but this is kind of weird. Yes, it is really weird. Going too well. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Think this is a trap? Yeah, no, it does feel uh, like a trap. If it is, then bring it on. Let's get this party started. Well, okay, no, so so it felt like a trap when the, um, when, like, so I was saying this, um, it felt like a trap when I was, um, down there and the force fields went away and I was like, okay, somebody's up to no good, but the, um, the, the camera glitch was not, that seemed like somebody did that, um, not that the bad guys don't know or have been told to leave us alone, which would be what I would expect for a trap. So I think this might be a friend or else like somebody who wants to fight us themselves, which could totally happen, you know? All right, let's go up the floor. You notice how like they just like, like they're, those dudes just died in that, in that room. They just died. They were just doing their jobs. People like that. I looked to see if Chadley was in that room. Okay. This is the one that we use. All right. Well, I don't like being in an elevator. Oh, they're big elevators. No. We're not going to go down. Well, why, how do we go back up? How do I go up? I want to go up. Where's the way up? Oh, this looks like this might be related. Oh, we're going to go have an actual tour. Oh my god, I'm excited. All right. Man, why well, we got to get all these damn key cards just to get anywhere? This is Shinra HQ. The how did you expect? Says the former company man himself. Guess you'd know about all the rules, regulations and red tape. It's like coming home. Hey, come on. We're friends. Look at all these plants. Okay, these have got to be real. There's no way they'd be fake. Plus, the little details here, if you look at the fact that some of the, um, some of the, uh, leaves, that's the word, are not the same color, um, I think they're real. Hi, I'm- How long do you think you'll be before we put a new plate? <sighs> they never put up the plate to replace the other one that fell. Alright, I'm not really having, like, a Shinra experience. I want to have, like, on this side, you'll see this. On that side, you'll see that. Until Avalanche stops, it's only gonna get worse. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just talk to you folks. Okay. I have oh, eavesdropped on everybody. No, Fury Road is very not for Lauren's, so I have not. Hey, Dan. No, I've been streaming for about an hour and a half today. Oh, okay. What's going on over here? Here's people to eavesdrop on. Just waiting in line. No, it is It is profoundly not for Lauren. Sorry, Chrono. It is not for me. I will never see Fury Road. Um, I have it from people who understand my comfort very well have, have said that it is not for me. So I will not be watching it. But I'm very glad it exists. They all to die. Oof. That's not good. Not I know that much. Look at 
this tree. We're rich people. We can afford to have real plants. Look how fancy and important we are. Oh yeah, daylight saving. Oh, I should have probably let people know daylight saving was happening. Yeah, sorry. We started earlier. Oops, did I do it right? Did I do it wrong? Yes, every reactor, every pillar. Like I said, a full inspection. There's no telling what kind of damage there might be. If you see anything, anything out of the ordinary, I want to know. <sighs> Sorry to bother you, sir. No, it's fine. I've brought the damage assessment for Sector 7 you requested. Sir, perhaps you should try and get some sleep. No, not yet. I need to finish preparing my draft of the reconstruction plan before tonight's board meeting. <sighs> Whatever reasons they might have had, destroying an entire sector is... it's beyond the pale. Director, I would strongly advise you not to say such things outside of this room. <sighs> Don't I know it. You can tell he's actually legitimately a nice guy, but also, this isn't good. This is not good. Who is that? Who is that creepy old man creepily creeping on the one decent person left in Shinra, or, or perhaps the one decent person in Shinra administration? Memorial? Memorial to museum to whom? Hold on. I feel like it's not naturally a desert. What was I doing? What was I doing? I don't remember, so we're gonna hit this button instead. Is this what I was doing? Playing the tourist. Okay. Oh, there's other things. Hold on. Hold on. I gotta go see if I can go in here. Oh, that's an elevator. That's an elevator. Never mind. Is there anyone? Oh, look, there's a person. Hello, person. What a world. Why do we even bother, you know? <sighs> hmm. All right, well, let's, let's go be really mad about this. I don't know how we're gonna get mad about it. I don't know what is going to make me mad, but it's going to make me mad. We're going to watch their revised history that we're going to know is wrong somehow. I don't know how we're going to know it's wrong, but we are. Uh, President Shinra exhibit? Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh my god. Welcome to the Shinra building, our humble home. Oh, hell no! Here in the Memorial Museum, you can learn all about our president, as well as the various divisions that make up the company. And of course, There's that the theme. Of Midgar and the miracle of Mako energy. Whatever takes your fancy, you're sure to learn something new. Yeah. yeah, yeah right, Blade up. Tiger? Like, I don't know how this was in the original. But uh, recent politics have made this more, uh, God, look at all those guns, have made this hit differently, you know? Poo boy. These look like real people. I mean, it's not, I think it's, it's, but I guess this was the early days of Shinra. I think I just threw up a little. Man thinks very highly of himself. Yep. So here's the construction. What is this? Tower of some sort. I'm disappointed that they aren't like giving me the option to read these things. <clears throat> that guy. That guy, that's, that's the, that's the mustache guy that was watching the video feed. Who is the guy next to him? <clears throat> I 
there's Aerith's flower. Her flowers is in there. One of those flowers is her flower. Maybe two of them. So what is this? <clears throat> In grateful appreciation. Dude posing with a gun, feeling very cool. Here's the gun. The president. This has cigars. Oh my god. I would expect more like this of the like, look at his brilliance, look at his genius. <clears throat> Yes, I have I have very large glasses of water. It's very helpful. Oh, there's a Final Fantasy X-2 reference in here? That's... <clears throat> that's interesting. Okay. That's an odd little thing. Okay, is this where I came from? Where am I going? No, I came from here because this is where the creepy statue is. Hello, creepy statue. Is there another door or is this the entirety of it? Oh my god. <sighs> now what? These arrows? This is whole. Hey this everybody, how's the grand tour? I hope you're all enjoying yourselves. Oh my god, her voice. Fun to learn about Shinra and our esteemed president? And to get a peek at the president's mementos? Who is that? that? Super cool. What's going on? Hold on. That's that, that jerk. Heidegger? That's Reeve. Oh, he's a high up. I don't know that guy. He looks like. Moving along. The next exhibit will teach you about the important work we do. You notice here. Reeves has the heart. You a look at each of our That's exhibits. Hojo, isn't it? I hope you're ready to be amazed because you simply won't believe all the exciting adventures we have here. This voice is really interesting. These all look so familiar. Because we've destroyed a bunch of them already. Oh, yeah. These guys. Okay, so she's the weapons one. The advanced weaponry exhibit is currently undergoing maintenance. <laughs> we apologize for the inconvenience. Space and aeronautics. Are going to space? Are they launching into space? Oh, it's one of those guys. Hi, guy. We're like old friends right now. Okay, research and development. Oh, yeah. Yup. Hello. Uh, welcome to Shinra headquarters. My duties as director of research and development are in all likelihood far beyond your ability to comprehend. So I really hate you. As it would be a waste of my time and yours. Rest assured, we are making great strides. Albeit not at this particular moment, because I'm filming this rubbish instead. I believe I've wasted enough of my precious time as it is. Science waits for no one, after all. So, good day. Welp. Oh, hello. What? What? Uh, read this? paper right here. Give me a moment. They did not do a good job filming Welcome these people. to the Shinra building. The Space and Aeronautics Division has taken rocket systems developed for military applications and adapted them to a different purpose. The search for new precious resources in the infinite reaches of space. That being said... I was right. Since we have plenty of Mako at the present, those plans are currently on hold. They're not actually. It's I. A bit of a shame, really. No, they're gonna launch everybody famous and important into space. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that I am right on this one, but I don't know. Look at this dude. Hello, dude. Public security. Oh, hello, you the jerk. The public security exhibit is currently undergoing maintenance. We apologize for the inconvenience. You notice he's taller than me. The other two are not. Hello, dude. Do they actually kill a person and stuff them into these suits? 
I would believe it. See, here's Brian thinking that it's somebody posing. I think Shinra might have, like, I think those people might be dead. <laughs> All right. We'll see. Sector 8. That's not what any of the sectors we've seen look like. Welcome to the Shinra building. Our mission here at Urban Planning is to supply the residents of Midgar with energy created from Mako. We also take pride in maintaining public infrastructure, the pillars and railways that run all throughout the city. Currently, we are working to construct an intraplate expressway. When this project has been completed, it will provide much easier access to numerous locations all across Midgar. That'd be convenient. We appreciate your patience and understanding in the meantime. So yeah, he's like a big deal. I... So I had this, I had this idea in my head, like the moment that I saw the name Reef, and I was like, that's Kate Sif. I thought he was just some random guy. So I don't actually know, and don't tell me necessarily, I don't actually know if Reeve was a person who was important in the original, but if he was, I didn't know or didn't remember. I didn't realize that. I thought he was just some random guy. <laughs> or at least the, the, the memory packet that remembered that, um that Reeve was Kate Sith, um, did not include anything about him being anyone more than just some random employee. Um, yeah, so he, he seems like a, yeah, civil engineer, that's it, that's it, yes. Urban planning, civil, civil engineer, yeah. Whew. Oh, look, it's the hand! It's the hand! You gotta run up that and high-five Aerith. Oh, look at these. Oh, man. That, see, that, that, that is an evil science experiment Shinra tube. Okay, Chrono has requested interacting with Reeve again. Welcome to the Shinra building. Our mission here at Urban Planning is to supply the residents of Midgar with energy created from Mako. But it's not just that. He actually runs things. We also take pride in like, maintaining public Yeah, the infrastructure. infrastructure. Which is super important. Currently, we are working to construct an intraplate expressway. When this project has been completed, it will provide much easier access to numerous locations all across Midgar. We appreciate your patience and understanding in the meantime. So they have to have, at some point, cared whether the entire population lived or died. Because they need the population in order for them to have something to control or rule over. Um, so they, they, they hired this guy and kept promoting him because he's really good at making the city work. And it's a really complicated thing. Like, I'm, just, I'm really curious. Oh, did they refuse to record anything, Noble Samurai? I just got the impression that the things were under construction. And I was like, that's kind of weird that Heidegger and Scarlet don't have anything to say, but I'll believe it. Um... Does that sound on my end? Um, so, I don't think they've gone into this, but I can't help wondering whose idea was it? Okay, so this must be Sector 8. That must be where they live then. Um, whose idea it was to have this double-tiered city, this city in the sky, you know? Why is that what we decided to do? How do we decide to pull it off? You know? So. Yeah, well, Reeve. I mean, it's literally his job whether people live or die. Like, it's, it's his job to make people's lives work. To support people's lives. I mean, like, let's, let's go around. Let's go around here, okay? Think about this in the context of an actual city. Of, of, a, of a place in which people live. Okay? 
Why is the first thing that you see coming into like the history of the company that created the city in which you live? Why is the first thing you see weaponry? Why is that part one? Why is that even an issue? Why is that even like, why is that even like the list? Especially because advanced weaponry and uh, public security are separate. Like, if this was, like, military, you know, but, like, so we've got our cool shiny guns and our big weapons. We've got going to outer space, but we're not actually doing that right now. We've got research and development, but the only things that we see that the research and development, like, we just see, like, weapons and stuff. I mean, he's like, I'm not going to tell you anything I'm working on. But, like, what what research and development is he is he doing? Then here we've got public security, which is another thing that's fighting. Did I miss one? Like, none of these... Like, if this wasn't the corporation that runs a city, maybe this would be, like... Um... You know, like... Oh, so before it was a power company, it was a weapons manufacturer? And I know this is the history of things, but, I mean, the city itself is number five. That's, that's like, like an afterthought. I mean, unless this is saying, like, okay, so the first thing that they did, I guess if, maybe that makes more sense. If it started off as a weapons manufacturer, and they made weapons, and then they were like, what if we went to space? And then they were like, maybe not, but we're going to continue to do more R&D. And then develop public security for other cities, and then we decided to make our own? I guess that makes some sense, history. Yeah, but Desmaya, it's not presented as military. Um, and maybe this is, like, my expectation growing up in the U.S., um, but, like, like, yeah, our military, not, like, yeah, our weapons, you know? Um, but it does depend on like what is the what is the purpose of this room? What are these five elements doing? If these five are um, I couldn't I couldn't interact with anything in the presidential exhibit. Could I? I just I feel like... Did I, did I miss did I miss interacting with something? Okay. Hold on. If there's a thing. So this is 01. So this is part one of the exhibit. Okay, they're building stuff. More construction plans. His gold plated gun. This dude. The big one behind the statue. Sorry. It just, like... I want it to be clear... Okay, so this is showing that they start off... Okay, so they start off in a warehouse making guns. Then they start making vehicles. Then they make power plants. Got it! Okay, and, and the whole time they're making flight things. Okay, no, that makes sense. And it makes... It makes perfect sense for the, like, like, I'm not like, oh gosh, I don't believe that Shinra would do this. I'm more like saying, isn't it messed up? Isn't it messed up that the city in which people live that is created, maintained, and run by this corporation is the afterthought here? You know? Like, that's very intentional on the part of the game developers um, to, 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 to do this. Um, and it makes sense, like, like, obviously, like, this is, this, these are the priorities in order, it feels like. These are the priorities of, um, maybe not in order, I don't know, if space and air, I don't know. I guess if they're going to be leaving Earth behind, which they've, they've now established, by the way, that's something that's important. Um, it's believable, it's, it's reasonable, it makes sense, it, it's absolutely, like, plausible, but also, yikes. That's where I was getting with this, is yikes. Um, so, yeah. 
And just like how incredibly like unwelcoming this is. You're not supposed to. This voice tape. See creepy. Oh, I know that place! I know that place! I know that place! I know that place! That's the fountain that's right out front! I know that place! I've been there! A Zach! I know that fountain. I know that fountain. I know it. I've been there. See, because it's as a. That'll be useful. So Corporate videos, yeah. This is Midgar, our home. Recreated. That's Reeve, isn't it? Scale. That voice. As you can see here, the eight Mako reactors form a ring around the center of our city and keep Midgar running day and night. The Mako which flows beneath our feet is a truly limitless resource. At Shinra, we have developed technologies to extract it and transform it into the fuel and electricity that powers everything we do. Thanks to the miracle of Mako energy, our lives are richer and better than ever before. Mako keeps our lights on at night and made Midgar into the city that never sleeps. A triumph of technology and testament to man's potential. Nothing but a bunch of lies. That's the Zoning Angel. Except that Mako has made people's lives better. It's made people blind. Blind to the cold hard truth. Even I used to buy into their bullshit. Remembering that makes me even madder. Oh, the loss of his arm is related to him turning against and seeing through this and being radicalized, isn't it? That was not an accident. He looked at his hand there. Whoo! So this is a really nice way for them to show, share some of the world building that they've been doing. To make sure that we understand what's going on. Things that we might not otherwise have an excuse to learn in the game. I really like the presence of One Winged Angel there. It's so haunting and interesting. Well, because, okay. All right. Lauren's lack of memory of Final Fantasy VII, but I know that One Winged Angel is Sephiroth's theme. And I know that Sephiroth was a actually really decent guy um, in Crisis Core. I really liked him. Um, especially when he's like, we're going to go investigate what the heck is going on with Angeal. Um, which I hadn't, I hadn't really been expecting, but I was really glad they did that. Um, but then it turns out that they've all got alien cells in them and were science experiments and then he went crazy. Um, and so this is the Mako poisoning. This is the Mako crazy alien, whatever. Wait, but why is it, why is it Mako? No, but it's alien, but okay, no. Because they, yeah, Coyote Dash, I wasn't expecting that. Like, I mean, I was told you like the characters if you play Crisis Core. And I was like, whatever. But I was wrong. I, or they were right, rather. Um, but yeah, like, I felt really bad for Sephiroth. Like, things really suck for him. Finding out that you're one of the three that, like, you have an expiration date. Like, that, like, your mom was, like, implanted with like a fetus that had been like got alien cells put in it and it has an expiration date and stuff like that would be pretty bad um so i can understand why that would be something that uh yeah well i didn't i, I never would have like my impression of, of sephiroth wasn't that he was a sympathetic antagonist <clears throat> yes uh the final fantasy series does definitely revisit themes again and again so like when you're drawing parallels like Kucha also having an expiration date or uh, um, 
Xanarkand also being the city that never sleeps. Um, I would love to see what they would do with Final Fantasy VI if they were to do this with Final Fantasy VI, but I don't imagine they ever will. So I'll just write my own fanfic, which is currently at like 60,000 words published. <laughs> um, and Crystal, well, I mean, Crystal is just straight up is like just a thing they really want to do. Um, but yeah, I really like that you get to know the world in this. Oh, I accidentally turned off that, didn't I? And hearing Reeve talk with pride about the city. Man. Yeah, like, by the way, if you didn't get the memo, using Mako is bad, but it does make people's lives easier. And, uh... And, like... That's... That's one of the... That's one of the complicated things about dealing with... Um, as we were talking, we're going to tie this back to the conversation that we had at the very beginning of the stream where we were talking about how do you have human-friendly architecture that's also ecologically sound? And that is a, like, that conflict is really important, but also, like, how, yeah, how much of a difference has electricity made in our lives? How many people are able to live that wouldn't have been without electricity? Um, how many, how many, like, social improvements have been possible because of electricity and that's even just like the essentials like also like how much more comfortable is life with electricity you can you can see when it's dark you don't have to shut everything down or risk burning your home down with a candle um when it is unbearably warm we can affect the temperature climate control is ridiculous ridiculously powerful as far as allowing people to live in a wider range of places um but also like people living in places that are so inhospitable that we have to dedicate massive amounts of resources to make that place someplace where people can live additionally damages society um and so it's complicated because how do you change it? You can ask people to make sacrifices. Um, and you can try to force corporations and other massive users of, of electricity and things like that. You can force them to make decisions because or make changes because they're not going to on their own. Um, so... Yeah, like, 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 clean energy is a great thing that I hope we can move to. Um, and I know that it's not a perfect solution. No, I, and so, Dusmea, I'm not, I'm not saying that, um, I'm not saying that it's like, either have technology and, de and destroy the planet, or save the planet and throw away technology and electricity. It's not, um, it's not quite as cut and dry as that. It's not like a binary thing like that. But, um, it's, it is somewhat difficult. And, and for example, the way that we approach trash and the way that we approach recycling, um, the dangers of because recycling is an option, people don't necessarily think as much about the trash that they create because they're like, oh, it, it can just be recycled. But recycling is in itself somewhat destructive to the environment, depending on what it is. Um, so it's, so it's complicated. Um, and there's really no way to not do harm to the world as a human existing in modern society. Um, and if you think too long and hard about that, you will go crazy. Um, so I don't recommend thinking too hard about it and we won't dwell on it for too long, but it is a question that we need to ask ourselves. And so the fact that, um, like when, when they raise the point that like, yes, people are more comfortable, people do have better lives because of this, you know, if, if there were an alternative, you know, if Avalanche were like, we're going to need to get away from doing this. And, you know, we have people doing science finding clean energy. Um, that would seem like that would be a more feasible thing. But just blowing up the reactors and offering no alternatives, like, isn't really a sustainable si solution either. I mean, obviously, draining the planet dry and running out of planet juice is not going to be good to anybody. Um... But 
like there's not that alternative being suggested and that makes it a, a t an even tougher sell that makes it so that like like and granted the like chokehold that Shinra has on every aspect of the world, at least in this part of the world. I remember that Wu Tai exists, and they talk about Wu Tai. I don't know if we ever do. We ever go to Wu Tai in Crisis Core? Because I know we fought Wu Tai people. Because the war was still going on in Crisis Core, so we fought Wu Tai a lot. And like Yuffie sent like hilarious. I challenge you to a duel matches. Does it open in Wutai? Because I'm pretty sure like we go to Wutai. Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Zach, he's such a sweetie. Um, but like, like Shinra has an absolute monopoly on every single thing. Um, and so they're not going to loosen up their their hold on either the planet juice or the city, their control over anything. Um, so there isn't really an easy way to just offer up an alternative energy source if Shinra doesn't want it and they're not going to make money off of it or have control or power because of it. God, it is so alien to me. Beyond having enough money to live comfortably and have the things you want and be like, I want this and then you can get it and take care of the people you love. And beyond like having the power to be taken seriously, I, I literally don't understand I cannot wrap my head around the mindset of 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 hoarding wealth and power I just don't understand it like why would you ever need so much money that you're willing to kill people for it when you're fine you know, you're covered. Your needs are covered. Your needs will be covered forever. You don't have to do anything else. Your needs and your family will be covered for the rest of your life. Why do you still need more? I don't understand. I cannot understand it. Why are people so drawn to having absolute power? Short of being able to, like, prevent somebody else from hurting you. Why do you want power? I don't... I don't understand. Um... And I, I know that there are, I know that there are plenty of people that that's true of. Yeah, and maybe it is keeping other people from having it because, because that is like a huge motivator in human nature. Um, but like, for example, I had this, um, so my, my dad and I do not see eye to eye about very many things. Um, and so he was like, why aren't you trying to work your way up? The corporate ladder and I was like well because I'm making enough money to live off of but I'm not overly stressed and my ambitions lie elsewhere and like I'm like now moving up in my career like I'm gonna be like a marketing manager instead of just a copywriter and like, that's cool and all because it lets me have more money, I suppose, than I would have had at a lower tier. I mean, I'm a freelancer, so it only goes so far, but I'm like, oh cool, that means I can like buy art from people um, and things like that. I can I can donate to causes, like for example, the, uh, the, the, the atrocity that happened last night, I was able to be like, uh, there are organizations out there who are raising money to, to fight this kind of thing. Um, and I could, afford to give to them which felt really nice like that was really nice to be able to do um but and i like having like more problems to solve and stuff and so like mo moving up in my career means that like i have bigger problems to solve and more strategy i get to use but i'm not like i must make a hundred thousand dollars and be the most famous person at my company and blah 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 or whatever like no no um and i don't know if this is like a generational thing if it's a like these politics got to me now and so now i don't have that as my motivator um if part of it is because i've honestly never been in a place where i was genuinely at risk of not being able to live 
because I couldn't afford it. I've never been in those dire circumstances, but there are people who have been and are still, you know, compassionate and generous and good. And then there's people who have never had any sort of difficulty in their life and they are often the most sociopathic. I don't know. It gets you thinking. I don't know. Anyway, things are more simplified in fiction than they are in real life. Um, yes, I'm quite familiar with the prosperity gospel and I've used that to try to explain some of these things to, um, to people in other regions where the prosperity gospel is not, um, not as prevalent as it is in, in the U.S., especially the southern U.S., like Texas has it real bad. Um, but for anyone who doesn't know, the idea of the prosperity gospel is if you do well, it is because you deserve to do well. So those who are rich are morally superior and those who are poor are morally inferior. Um, and it's like a holdover from, um, or, or a carryover, I suppose, from the, the Puritans who, who had that kind of idea. Um, and, uh, it's, it's legitimately like a lot of, like a lot of people, you know, business professionals and politicians and people in general in the U S this is a very common thing. It's, it's, it's deep in our bones. Um, and I guess that's something that I like. So when I say I can't understand how a person could be like this, it's because the mindset is so alien to me. Um, and not that, like, maybe I don't know where it comes from, but it's just, yeah, it's, it's really terrible. Um, and so that sort of thing is part of why people can justify treating anybody whose life is less than perfect poorly. So whether it's because somebody is, you know, if somebody is not, not wealthy or if somebody is in poor health or any number of things like it's, 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 there's a moral judgment against them. And so that's part of where you get things like the poor treatment of people who are experiencing homelessness. Um, you know, so yeah. And like, and, 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 and so Scream Lord raises a good point that like, um, that was, that was the way that like, if you're born into wealth and power, you must be like immediately, uh, superior. Which was something that I thought was interesting reading some like historical fiction that was set in England where like people were, were like the, the servants were working for a, a house with a, with a fancy name, like nobility or la landed people or whatever. And they're like, oh, well, they must be, you know, they must be, they must be in some way like better because they are in this position. Um, and I don't know. It's just bad. It's just bad. So what can we do about that? I think we can be aware of who we are. If we have privilege, we can be aware of privilege. And also, I think it's super important. Like, yes, you can work very hard for what you have and you can give yourself credit for that. But I also think it is very important to remember that you are not superior to others because you have done well and you are not inferior to others if you have not done well um you know yeah and divine providence demi yeah that's the sort of thing that i think um scream lord was referencing and that i was talking about related to that too um yeah sal that is that is another thing that that's something that like i remember be, like being like in like young in college and realizing wait a minute because I, I had this thing where I was like, you know, I think everybody has something that they're extraordinarily gifted at. Um, and maybe a lot of people go through life without realizing what they're extraordinarily gifted at because they just don't try everything. So it's good to try everything because you never know what you're going to come across um, that is great for you. Um, but then I realized, wait, does that mean that there's all these people who never have opportunities, baseline opportunities because of the situation of their birth? They're never able to live up to what they might be able to accomplish. You know, they might be geniuses. They might be, like, extraordinarily compassionate. They may be able to solve problems for the entire planet, but they'll never get that chance because they don't have the opportunity. They don't have the resources. Um, and, yeah, like, then you have the, the undeserving poor, um, the deserving and undeserving poor, which, like, I understand, like, kind of some of that. Um, not that I agree with it. 
but there's this absolute terror that people, at least in the U.S., have of somebody getting a thing, being given a thing that they might not deserve. So you're, like, willing to choke out yourself, like, starve out yourself, starve out children, starve out all these innocents, because one person might get through who doesn't deserve it. Um, and I think that you have to see, like, do I have that feeling inside of me? And if so, like, can I, can I take it out and look at it and question it? Um, yeah. Yeah. So there's a, there's a lot. There's a lot. And I like that this game asks questions, even though, again, it's simplified. It's, it's made fictional. And so it's, 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 it's not, you know, a direct comparison. It's not exactly the same. Um, I think that, uh, yeah, serious ink. That's what I'm saying. Like, um, it's, it, I think it's worth, worth interrogating this inside yourself. Do I feel this way? And why do I feel this way? Where did that come from? What does it mean? How does it, how does it fit with the rest of my values? Um, because there is this like, well, we can't have universal basic income because some people might just not do anything and be lazy and just sit around all day. So... And I actually had that reaction of like, but, but then people won't do anything. So, if as a culture we can afford to take care of everybody, most people will do something to contribute, whether it's create art or take care of the people they love or work a job. But if there are people who don't, so, that's fine. You know, as long as they're not hurting someone else with it. So what? You know? Um, and that's something that I, that I think is worth thinking about. Because you don't necessarily think about these things unless you start thinking about them, which I know sounds really dumb, but like you take a lot of things for granted about the the civilization that you live in. Like when, when they showed Barrett looking at his hand and he was like, I used to agree with Shinra. Um, and then something changed. That's true for most people who are revolutionaries. Um, yeah. So think about it. Um, think about it. Think about how you can be good to the people around you. Give back to the society. Think about society as a, as a, as a net of people, all, a web of people all connected to one another. You know, we, none of us exist in a vacuum. Even people who go off grid don't really live off. I mean, I suppose if you go off grid enough, you could exist in a vacuum, but most people don't. And it's not really possible. Um, so... I really think that we should all do our best to believe in a better future and try to figure out what we can do to help get there. And part of it is interrogating things inside of you that were put there by the society you live in that are hurtful to other people and frequently to yourself. Yeah. Anyway. That's my rant. I do think most people are good. It can be very hard to believe that when you see the worst of people. But a lot of what we've seen, the worst of people, is stuff that got put there. And if you change the circumstances, if you change the context around them, the worst wouldn't be there. It's not that people are inherently hateful. It's not that people are inherently evil. Um, it's not that... There is no escaping hatred. There's not that there's no escaping bigotry. Um, people are that way because they are shaped to be that way. Change what does the shaping and people will be different. Hatred is taught, not made. And so I think that that is something to remember. We can shape the world and shape culture. Well, it's like, it's like, um... So I was just talking to somebody, um, cause she was, she was going to 
she was she was looking at into a job and the the company had like the people who were emailing with her like used their pronouns um in their email um and there were a few things like that and she was like that gives me hope that like i might be comfortable this might be like you know a like a, a progressive inclusive diverse space um and it made me think about um so my my boss at the job that i had in austin for so long she was gay and i loved her to death um and when marriage equality passed in the U.S., um, like, and she and her now wife, like, they went to the Capitol, they got married, um, uh, and the rest of us figured out this was going on because she, like, literally never took vacation, but she took a few days vacation that week, and I was like, I bet I know where you went. So afterwards, we were, I was like, we're going to throw her a bridal shower. And I took up a collection from my coworkers to throw her her wedding shower, and... I did that very loudly and very proudly. And if anyone in that office was uncomfortable with giving money for to celebrate someone's gay marriage, they didn't say anything because they were shamed into silence. And I think that that is, that's one way to do it. It's to let people know that kind of, that kind of way of being isn't okay. Um... And you can get rid of it by establishing that it's not normal, it's not okay, it's not the default, which is part of why I think it's important to laugh down some of the really awful things that people say. And to be like, well, that's just stupid. We're not even like, no, where did you get that from? Um, yeah. Yeah, she's that, that, that woman is just, she's amazing. She's like my mentor. I love her so much. Um, she was like a, a second mom to me. Um, but, but yeah. So, so what we can do, one of the things that I talk so much about um, doing and part of why I lead my community the way I do, we're close to the end of this game, folks, so I know that you are here because you know what you're getting into. Um, but part, one of the reasons why I'm so adamant about maintaining the culture in our community that we have which is why, like, you know, I don't just go raiding everybody and I don't just, like, go playing any game or anything like that. Is I want it to be consistent with that is because I want to have a space in which it is normalized to care about people. It is normalized to be kind and compassionate and think about things um, and talk about things and have conversations and question, like, some of the harmful things in the world around us. And so... So I want to, I want to continue doing that. And that's, I think what we can do on a larger scale too, is just, just normalize the things that are good and challenge the things that are bad. They don't have to be that way. Realizing how recently, um, civil rights, the civil rights movement happened, how recently women weren't allowed to open bank accounts in their own name like how recently these things happened like even just going back to the 80s and seeing how like the rights of women were in the 80s and the 70s that wasn't that long ago folks um really made me realize how much things can change and that means we have to keep pushing for more change we can't take it for granted um but change can happen and we have to we have to keep pushing for it. We have to keep normalizing what's good and challenging what's bad. And we get to define for ourselves what we think good and bad are. Um, but I think we're here in this community because by and large, we tend to agree on those things. Because um, I think it, well, I also think it, I think that it's reasonable to help yourself. Like, I don't, I don't want to make it sound like I'm encouraging people to be martyrs because I don't think that that's actually very healthy. And I've seen a lot of people destroy themselves trying to take care of other people. And I have, I have done great damage to myself by not helping myself and by putting other people first to my detriment. So I don't know that I would define good and evil those ways. Um, just like I think that sometimes there's a time and a place for being selfish. You're going to hurt people sometimes doing what's right for you. And you have to find a way to be okay with that. Um, whether that's, you know, turning someone down for friendship or romance or a job or whatever, like something that is good for you, like saying no to somebody will hurt them sometimes, but it's still sometimes the right thing to do if it's right for you. So it's complicated. There's no really easy way of saying this is good and this is bad. This is the criteria we use to decide between those two. Um, 
but you 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 define your own moral compass and you find people whose moral compasses are compatible with yours not necessarily identical but compatible and you work together to make things better um so yeah it's uh it's nice to see how things evolve for the better and i think we have to keep pushing for that um hey hey rook how's it going <laughs> you just walked into a big long rant about moral compasses and standing up for what's right um but uh yes like like do do remember that you do have the right to take care of yourself um and that doing good for other people doesn't have to come at the expense of your own well-being um but yeah so so to sum it up bring it to current events and stuff if you see hatred, if you hear bigotry, if that comes into your life and there is any way that you are safe enough speaking up, acting against it, trying to stop it, do so. Whether it's your coworker being rude about something and you saying, hey, that wasn't funny um, and establishing that that's normal, that's not the default, that's not okay. Um, or if you know you have self-defense training and you see someone being harassed on the street, intervene if you are safe to do so. Um, Like, it depends, obviously, on the circumstances and do what is best for your safety and know your limitations. But I do think that it is really important to to try to try to stand up for what's right within the realm of your safety. Um, but don't don't put yourself in danger that you can't handle. Um, so. I mean, okay, Dosmea is pointing out things that um, that I think are good to good to know and good to be aware. Um, but if you see it, like, I don't think there's anything wrong with with just saying, like, basically that 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 comedy won't fly here. Um, don't 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 say those words around me. Um, I mean, maybe you have to be more careful than what I'm saying because you might you might further radicalize people or, or something like that. But um, but I, I do think you should absolutely try to step in um, and like so. So I don't know. There's there's a lot of there's a lot to be said for for especially if you're a person of relative privilege, um, which <laughs> Egg with feelings. Thank you for subscribing. I too have feelings, um, and I support eggs. Uh, but um, like, if you are in a position of relative privilege, which like I am, you know, a middle class white cis woman, so I have several layers of privilege, if not every privilege ever. Like, there are ways in which I am going to be safe challenging things, um, so I can use that. Um, so, so let's let's all try, let's all try to do that. Um, I think it's okay to be angry sometimes, though. Like, I don't think we have to be morally pure in our actions. I think it's okay to be angry. Um, and I'm certainly not going to police the tone of somebody who is being harmed actively. Um, so I don't know that I think you have to ask nicely for someone to stop. I can imagine a circumstance where somebody would come in and I would say, shut the hell up and get out of this space. Um, I'm going to shut that down and I'm not going to allow it. Um, but when possible, when reasonable, if you can have a conversation and bring someone around, I think that there's a lot of value in that. Boy, we sure did go off on a tangent. You can call yourself a proud Shinra scholar. Now, moving along. Next, you'll learn about our progress in advanced science and technology. Oh, this isn't good. Please proceed to the 61st floor, the visual entertainment hall. So, we've occasionally had people come in to this chat, and they'll say something that they think is funny, and sometimes... I will be like, well, why, why did you think that was funny? We, we don't talk like that here. And sometimes I ban them. <laughs> so I think it's valu valuable to kind of get a sense for what's different between those. Where we showcase Shinra's cutting edge technology through an immersive visual and audio experience. This is going to be interesting. 
This is going to be interesting. Theater, huh? Oh, I accidentally hit the button to change the map. Huh. This seems concerning. It's like a planetarium. All right. I feel like nervous and claustrophobic in here. Like, I don't like that we're doing this. I really like his boots. I want those boots. I like her boots too, but I like his better. I like biker boots. This place is empty. This is concerning. This is not good. What the hell? Past, our planet was home to a people we call the Ancients. That's Aerith. Those are the Elves. Many millennia Flower. before we discovered Mako, these precursors were already pioneering its use. Somehow they learned of the great reservoir of energy pulsing beneath their feet. But they did it in a sustainable way. Oh my god, I want to live there. I want to live there. The ancients developed the means to harness this powerful energy and bend it to their will. The fruits of their labors have survived to this very day in the form of certain kinds of materia. Huh. Their scripture, too, has endured. Oh. We who are born of the planet, with her we speak, her flesh we oh. shape. Oh, those are the Unto summons. Her promised land. Shall we one day return? By her loving grace and providence, may we take our place in paradise. So we do, if they have scripture, we do have a faith tradition Alas, here. Alas, the ancients themselves are long gone. Two thousand years ago, a meteor <gasps> brought an end to their civilization. Oh. But before their fiery end, did the ancients... <gasps> oh, Jesus! Even now, we have only to wonder. They're using Aerith as their key to find it, aren't Times they? Have changed, and the Shinra Electric Power Company is committed to changing and evolving with them. Like the ancients, we've harnessed the power of Ma. <laughs> the comparison they're drawing there is though it's anything the same. Are those other cities? Are they out there watching us? Waiting for us to join them? Yeah, that's why they want her. Corner of the world. A green inverted land. Where boundless Mako energy will provide for our every need. They don't want to go to space. Shinra is working for you. They want to, to go to heaven. The of the ancients and lead us to that promised land. We That's not rest until our dream is realized. That's the picture of the city that we saw by Reeve. Huh. That it? This is not good. That was Aerith. What the heck? No. My refined taste running out of butter. <laughs> Short of its proper accompaniment, this tea might as well be boiled pond water. <laughs> no, it, it couldn't possibly have been. Crazy ass thing made me want to puke. And not just because of the presentation, but the content, too. 
Ought to come with a warning. That ain't for kids. That wasn't just a movie. That huge meteor. What was that about? Like I said, nothing you should show a kid. Oof. 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 That was so much like cuz I was going to be like man that is that is some fantastic A plus propaganda by making the comparison between the ancients and themselves. Um Well, I'm glad that we just got our talking about things that aren't the game out of out of the way cuz like people have butter and coffee, right? Not butter and tea. Anyway, <laughs> Boy, howdy, was that a lot? Oh my god. Okay, so like... So we definitely had a meteor falling, bringing about an end to their civilization. I swear to god, there's something about a meteor. I'm digging around in my brain right now. I'm digging around in my brain right now. Trying to remember if there's anything else that I can extract from my really bad memories. There is. That's right. The logo is a is a, is a meteor. Um, yeah. Huh. Don't 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 jog anything in my memory about Final Fantasy VII though. Um, yeah. Well, so like so like okay. First of all, we've got like A plus super quality. Um, Oh, maybe, maybe I'm thinking about the fact that they dropped the meteor on the planet in, uh, in Final Fantasy XIV. Oh, by the way, I'm going to start streaming Stormblood soon because I want to figure out how to stream Stormblood before I get to Shadowbringers. So that'll probably be in a couple of weeks, I think, because I'm very, very close to uh, Stormblood. So that'll be on Wednesday nights because I, I play random stuff with my friends from 6 to 8 um, Eastern. Um, and so then I'll just continue on to main story stuff, starting a little bit after 8 Eastern. So, um, that's fine, Coyote Dash, if you're still playing your way through, so you're hearing me, like, fidgeting around a bit. I haven't figured out exactly how that's gonna work, but it's gonna be happening. Um, uh, so, yeah. Um, good times. That'll be Wednesday nights, though, so it won't interfere with my other streams. Um, anyway. So... There's a lot to take in, and one of the things that I think is really, really cool that they've done again and again in this game that I've commented on, and I think that they that I comment on that they did in that they do in the Suicoden games as well, where they give you so much stuff, or they give you something, and then they do something else to kind of make you forget about it, like a little bit of sleight of hand. Um, what of the content in those videos that we saw is directly relevant to the plot? What is simply, you know, background information to provide more thought? I don't know. They've, they've given us so much. So much. That, like, knowing, knowing a little bit, like, it's good. I mean, I think it's, to me, it's fairly obvious that um, they want Aerith to show them to heaven. Which is really weird because that seems like kind of a... Like, the fact that they think it's a literal place is strange, because that doesn't sound like a literal physical place. It sounds like a spiritual thing, and I... The, I mean, I mean, okay, no. All right, so let's say... Let's say maybe, maybe Mr. Shinra is dying of... of a disease. Um, and... Because people tend to get more desperate for solutions and willing to be open to spiritual things um, when they are close to the end of their lives. So maybe Shinra is putting its energy into finding this so-called heaven. Um, as a, like an actual literal place because maybe he is in some way afraid of like the end of his life or perhaps seeing the end of Mako as they start running out of planet juice, what else are they going to be doing? Um, well, so the so the ancients, we know that the ancients actually did kind of look like that because we've seen we've seen Aerith's mom. 
and Aerith's mom looked like them and dressed like them. So, so that seems reasonable. Now, like how or why there's like a like a secret line of ancients that have survived for the past thousand or two thousand years or whatever. Um, but yeah, I thought they were going to be going into space, but now I'm thinking maybe they're going to go to the paradise, or maybe they're exploring both options just in case one doesn't pan out. Um, which good contingency plans are a good idea. Um, but. Sephiroth. You know. Like we'd have plenty to work with. With the with the first. The first scene. Oh he did Noble Samurai. Oh, I suppose he did. I suppose he did talk about that. And yeah, maybe they think the paradise is in space. I don't know. Like those things might overlap. Um, but I definitely think that that's, that's what they want. Yeah. I, I really would like my memory to be more functional, but I'm taking my iron supplements and, uh, I'm feeling more like slightly better able to focus. So maybe memory will come back too. Um, but yeah, we had a, we had a lot going on even with that, even just figuring out. Yes. The, the, the space program is on a definite hold. Yeah. I noticed that he said that, although he's like running around, um, but like, like, I think, I think that I figured that out and that's like, I mean, we'll find out maybe I'm wrong, um, but I, I'm pretty confident that I've put these pieces together. They have presented me with the pieces and I think I have slotted them roughly in the right place. Um, but then you've got this, this whole, what is the deal with Sephiroth? So Sephiroth's dead. I'm pretty sure Sephiroth's dead. I'm pretty sure that we killed him at the end of Crisis Core. I'm pretty sure we killed him at the end of Crisis Core. And anyway, he had a time limit. And it's been a few years. It's been a few years. I bet he... I think he's supposed to be dead. I think he's dead. I think we killed him. And I was kind of speculating that maybe he's like, um... Maybe he's like... PTSD, hallucination, like... Trauma, memory, flashback stuff going on with Cloud... Um, and yeah, and then, and then when they had Palmer be like, it couldn't possibly be him. I'm like, ah, yes, he is dead. Or at least he's supposed to be dead. We killed him and he should also be double dead because also he was going to expire due to Genova cells. Um, yeah, I'm trying to remember if Cloud said that or not, but I, but I, I, I believe we, I believe we killed Sephiroth there at the end. Um, of Crisis Core. Like, I'm pretty sure we killed Sephiroth. Um, and it was very dramatic. Um, and so how is he back? I mean, I mean, no, 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 no. Cause like, Angel came back as a puppy. I don't remember exactly how that worked, but Angel came back as a puppy and Genesis made entire armies of Genesises. So, because we kept fighting Genesis clones, or Genesis would like put Genesis cells into yeah, Genesis, Genesi, Genesises, Genesises. Yeah, like we're just gonna let's break every possible language to pluralize Genesis. Is that, is that, is that, oh my god. Genesis. Yeah, it's like parentheses, parentheses, except less cool. <laughs> Punctuation is way better than obnoxious melodramatic gacked characters. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, he totally summoned, he, he created an army of Genesis. And he like put Genesis cells into things. So you'd have like Genesis version this, Genesis version that. Thank you, Chrono. I admit I was secretly hoping someone would decide to make a quote out of that one after I said it. <laughs> no, but, um, so we know that they have the power to do that. And I don't know that Sephiroth ever did. I don't think Angel made Angel clones, except for the Angel puppy. He made the Angel puppy. So it's entirely possible that Sephiroth's Genova cells got into something and maybe he's been like hopping from host to host to host is 
there's that creepy the creepy guy who was like I go shopping at the same place that the Xanarkin kid from Final Fantasy X goes shopping um that creepy dude could be the current he might have um yes the billowy cloak dude but just like the, the particulars of his the way his hood was it looked like the the, the Xanarkin kid from uh from Final Fantasy X you know Bahamut. Um, yeah, so I guess probably I wonder if no, that wouldn't make any sense. That wouldn't make any sense. I, I was not joking about the Angeal puppy. <laughs> All right. All right, all right, here's a dumb idea. Cause why not? I don't know how it would happen. Suppose that, suppose that Sephiroth has somehow gotten, well, he wouldn't have done that. Hojo would have. Genesis is the only one I think who was going around making Genesis willy nilly. I think everybody else was not really keen on this whole thing. Yeah, no spoilers. You can always go join the spoiler chat on our Discord if you want to be like, oh my god, Lauren. Okay. Okay. Okay, so. So, 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 so. I We know. We know from Crisis Core that you can put their cells into something. And it kind of takes that something over. Hojo is a cartoonishly evil mad scientist. I hate him. I want to set his lab on fire. Um, but I'm just going to have to settle for blowing up the devil's lab in Final Fantasy VI in my fanfic. We're about to go do that. It's going to be great. Um, so there's Sephiroth potential Sephiroth things going on. Sephiroth cell recipients. What if... Don't tell me if this is a stupid idea. Don't tell me. What if when Hojo had um, Zack and Cloud and he was doing Mako experiments on them? Because I know he was doing Mako exper experiments because we were in those tubes being Mako experimented on. He put Sephiroth cells in Cloud and that's why Cloud is hallucinating Sephiroth. And Sephiroth is like, I'm going to take you over. Cloud is like, no, you're not. Because I wonder if... Okay, creepy guys in cloaks. Because there's the guy, there's Tifa's neighbor. Tifa's neighbor. And there have been some others. They're basically... Organization 13? Kingdom Hearts dudes? That's the group with the cloaks, right? I'm really not up on my Kingdom Hearts as much as I should be. So is that what they're called in Kingdom Hearts? <laughs> yes. The nobodies. Oh, okay. Oh god, no, not the Asians. Okay, if you guys see me stream Final Fantasy XIV, I'm going to have to start off by, like, just dumping everything. Like, for example, the Asians are called the Basement Goths. And I hate them almost as much as I hate the dragon. <laughs> Specifically, Meathog. Um, yeah, yeah, Loki, I thought so. We've, we've, seen, a, we've seen a couple of them. Because I've commented on them being from Kingdom Hearts before. Yeah, no, Scream Lord, I'm not saying that they are literally that. I'm making fun of their character designs. Um, but, uh, oh, yeah, I bet there's, I bet they, I bet they're Se Sephiroth hosts. And it's not good for them because the guy, Tifa's neighbor was not in good shape. So... Is Cloud supposed to be the next one of them? But it's not going to work because 
Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So, because I don't think they're clones. Because they weren't clones in Crisis Core. They had the cells put in them and it transformed them into Genesis. Um, so I think, I think I'm just going out on a crazy limb here and I'm so sorry if this is really dumb, but the last, the last time I was like, this is my dumb idea and they're not actually going to do it. Like they've actually done some of those things. So, so they're going to, yeah. So Hojo, why would Hojo have, I mean, why would Hojo do anything? Because he wants to make a super weapon and or because he can and he wants to see what happens. So, Hojo, because it's, it's literally the only way that a Sephiroth cell could have gotten in Cloud. Like, Sephiroth could have done it, but I don't think Sephiroth would have. That doesn't seem like his style, you know? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say Hojo put Sephiroth cells into some people. And he put Sephiroth cells into Zack and Cloud, but Zack got an entire army used on him, so he died. And maybe Cloud had enough Mako poisoning in him from being immersed. Because I just see Hojo being like, what would happen if I put him, what would happen if I put him in Mako and also put a Sephiroth cell in him? Whereas, um... Zack had already had a small amount of Mako because he was actually a soldier first class. Um, a really good ATS project. Um, so... So, it, Zack, because Zack didn't have a total Mako meltdown the way Cloud did because he'd already had, like, some inoculation to Mako. Um, whereas Cloud got way more poisoned. And so, like, because, like, Zack was still pretty messed up after that. Um... So, yeah. Clouds uh, taking Sephiroth time bomb waiting to happen and, and, and the Sephiroth is threatening to take him over at any moment and he's like, screw you. Didn't I kill you? Yeah. Yeah, Hojo maybe should have made paper mache volcanoes. I think everything would have been better. So there you go. There's my random dumb idea. Based on Crisis Core. Because <laughs> this game has given me literally no reason to estimate any of that. But but I remember the Angeal puppy and the hordes of Genesises. <sighs> so, mini golf session. Yes, I think we should call them mini golf sessions when Lauren starts just speculating stuff. Um, Alright, well let's go do that. So we've got, we got like a lot going on there. Also, why, why did Sephiroth choose to show Cloud the destruction of the world and everyone dying in his powerlessness, Sephiroth killing his friends? I don't know, man. But that's not what the Sephiroth that I knew as my big brother's friend would be like. He would be like, stop this nonsense. That's how he would say it. He would say, stop this nonsense or I'm going to stop it for you. That's what he would say. You already said that. Your mission is to go out and tell everyone about propaganda. The propaganda. Next, you'll be visiting the repository for Shinra's expertise and know-how. Please make your way to the 62nd floor, the corporate archive. What the? That's not good. Hello, Colonel Sanders. Greetings and welcome, Avalanche. I presume. Oh, is he the one who's been helping me? My name is Hart, and it's a pleasure to meet you. He's the guy who was shaking the hand with- I've come to escort you to Mayor Domino, per his request. The mayor of Midgar? The empty is suit that is just a mouthpiece for Shiva? No. I think Reeve is Reeve's last name. Yes. The mayor of our dear Midgar. The most magnificent city ever built. That Mayor Domino. The visual entertainment hall has been experiencing technical difficulties of late. And he suspected that these difficulties might impede your progress. Who? So what does the mayor want with us? I'm afraid you'll have to ask him that yourself. Well, that's weird. 
This is all really weird and I'm uncomfortable. Yes, we're supposed to follow. He's wearing the same suit that that guy was in that picture. That's why I thought it might be the same guy. I think. Maybe he's not actually. I don't know. This is all really weird and uncomfortable, but like in a good way. Like, no idea what's going on or why we're here. Place. Oh, these are old books. I want to hang out in that library. So what? You telling me the mayor's some kind of crazy bookworm? I didn't even know there was a mayor. Have we seen the mayor? Did I forget about the mayor? What are you doing? Is this a secret door? Oh my god. Oh my god, do you have a secret door in your Shinra library? Okay, that's just extra. That's just unnecessary. This is really weird. No, we're just in like just another library. This is weird. Okay, he was mentioned earlier. Okay. Through here. If this is a trap, you're a dead man. You hear? Fair. Fair. Okay. So I'm obviously not going to go to the door. The mayor is waiting. Excuse me. Where do you think you're going? <sighs> Hi. The mayor is waiting. The mayor is waiting. The mayor is waiting. <sighs> How dare they? <laughs> How dare Dare they? <sighs> the sass. All right, let's see what this mayor is like. This is weird. This is a strange place for a mayor's office. Strange way to get to a mayor's office. What is going on this here? This can't be right. Ah, wonderful. You finally made it. I am the mayor of the great metropolis of Mako. Domino, at your service. <laughs> I must say you three haven't exactly He's been the guy. Spent. He's that guy. Okay. Huh? I wonder who's been cleaning up all your messes. Is he trying to do what's right what the for going the on? city? Come on, think about it. You've been caught by security several times, walked in front of every other camera, yeah. and scared an accountant half to death. Do you hear the alarm? No? You're welcome. Yeah. Uh, hmm. hmm. I can only assume your cell wasn't looped in. I am Avalanche's man on the inside. Say what? Huh. Is it really that surprising to you? You've seen where they put me. The mayor of the greatest city in the whole wide world tucked away in a secret broom closet in the damned archives. The nerve. What? Those stupid Shinra pricks thought I'd just shut up and accept their treatment. But they were wrong. Dead wrong. Huh. Well, this ought to make things easier. Hopefully. We need to break into Professor Hojo's lab. What? Why? You mean you're not here to give President Shinra his comeuppance? I mean, we'd like to do that too, We're but here not to right now. We're friend who was taken. But the president's going to get his too, if I have anything to say about it. He just sits right down. He feels comfortable here. Barrett trusts this guy. Well, I don't particularly care what you end up doing, so long as it hurts Shinra. Great. So, I can get you as far as the 64th floor. Hold up. You're telling me that that's the best you can do? That is indeed the best that I can do. But you're the mayor. But you're the mayor? Does this look like the office of a mayor? I'm a glorified librarian, nothing more. 
They don't even invite me to their meetings. <sighs> sorting records and reports. That's all I do. Comic my relief. hands and fingers have more paper cuts than skin. No one knows my pain, my daily torment. Oh they my god. made me a pathetic shell of a man. Oh my god, he's turned his back. <laughs> okay, they did you wrong like us, but we'll make it right. So just calm down. Deep breaths, man. Deep breaths. Barrett is like, I can live with this guy and his privilege. Hmm. I can make this work. Let me see that key card of yours. Yeah, he, he does. He does belong on the Drama Queen scale. I don't know that I care enough about him. I don't know if he's going to come back. There you are. But he does you belong. You now use it to access the recreational facility on the 63rd floor. And then what are we supposed to do? You look for a fellow Avalanche collaborator. Identify yourselves and he'll give you a key card to the 64th. The countersign is... The mayor is the best! Midgar's bear is nothing less. Oh my god. Everyone says he's cooler than the rest. This guy. Uh, this guy. Just say mayor to the guy. And if he goes the best with gusto, then you found your man. You got it? This guy is so incredibly obnoxious i love that he just he sold out the company because he didn't think they treated him with no, enough respect and so he's collaborating with avalanche because they're not because they stuck him away in a corner office like that's just really that's really something Up, sir. If you think you've found the collaborator, say Mayor and see if he says the best. You got it now? <sighs> you are weird, sir. This was a weird little bit of comic relief. <sighs> Look at us. That's us. We're cool kids. So he got to see my brilliance with the chairs. I don't even know if his heart is in the right place, but he's doing the right thing. Hello, sir. Will you let me move now? If you require additional assistance, please do not hesitate to ask. Yes. So can you tell us anything about yes. this collaborator? Certainly I could do just that. But a man in my position must conduct his affairs with discretion. Which is to say that that which has been requested cannot be freely given. Oh, I have to pay for this, meeting. don't I? You want money! Yeah. Disclosing confidential information entails considerable risk. Due compensation <sighs> is to be expected. In this particular instance, that would amount to 10,000 gil. Rip us off more, why don't you? I mean, what else am I going to do with my money? I like knowing things about characters, and they're going to give me information. It's like the one thing that I want that I'm motivated to acquire. Is Klaus? Oh, his, 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 his top, like, it's got, like, like, a little bit of, like, it's like a little scallopy edge because of the different ribs of it. I've got the money. We're going to do it. The 64th floor is reserved for our executives. The individual you seek is fastidious and well-dressed. This individual likes to visit the 63rd floor to decompress from the stress of the job. That really all you got for us? Oh, are you dissatisfied with your purchase? How unfortunate. Perhaps this will help preserve our relationship. Huh? Oh. An expression of my gratitude and appreciation. A new weapon for Barrett, uh, I believe. That's better. <laughs> you see, you see his face light up. Okay, hold on. I can do this. I can do this. Yeah, I mean, it's Shinra. They're just gonna have. They could just have guns around. I don't find that hard to believe. Wow. Dependent on the wielder's emotional state. Oh my goodness. Well, that's gonna be a thing. Uh, weapon upgrade settings. Balanced. Yes. Yay. Oh, I need to put 
the materia in the sword. Not the sword, the gun. Uh, this one. And I'm so glad it remembers what I had. This is why, this is why it does that. Ah, there we go. Oh man. Well, good thing you can count on me. Ask, all purchases are non-refundable. The information I provided concerned an executive after all. You will know them by their carefully cultivated appearance. Fortunately, I, I talked to everyone. So would have been nice to know. Idiot today's Jew should have kept us in the I mean you guys have kind of gone rogue. Oh, I can't go up that. I gotta explore everything. Look at this! There's a treasure chest. Glad they just keep treasure chests hanging out. Hmm. <laughs> Just in case you need a little boost to be able to pay for the man's, uh. Can I go down? Can I go down the stairs? No! Okay, fine. Oh my god. Why? This whole thing is... Well, whatever. Oh, hello, robot! Will you be my robot friend? No. That doesn't sound good. Oh no! I really wanted to smash into that pile of boxes and it wouldn't let me. Hello! Oh, he programmed his robots? I assume. Alright, so we're gonna go through here. <laughs> okay, that's funny. There's gotta be one more robot. This is like, this feels like such an old library. Like it feels like an old university library. My goodness. They're not friends with the mayor. That's adorable and silly. All right, so is this not a door? This is where we're supposed to go. Wait, hold on. Where am I? What's going on here? What's happening? Can I go up the escalator? I can. Yeah. I don't know if this is what I want to do. Oh, shoot! So, about this precious promised okay. land of yours. This song. Come now, Aerith. You misunderstand my intentions. I wish only to satisfy their material greed so I can be left to pursue my great work. He looks really gross. Our great work. Really gross. Mm. You're the spitting image of her now. I regret it to this day. If she had only trusted me instead of trying to run, it could have played out quite differently. What a terrible tragedy to lose the last of the pure blood. Is he Aerith's dad? Though not completely, would you like to see your mother? Albeit through the lens of one of my microscopes. Did you really think we'd leave such a precious specimen to rot in the gutter? We collected and cataloged every last bit of her. Hair, skin, organs, every fragment of every bone. As breathtaking in death as in life. As you, my dear, if Valna was elegance, right down to her cellular structure. <laughs> and there it is, that same elegance. Oh, yes. Time for yet another meeting. <sighs> Sit tight. I won't be long. <sighs> she did a very good job of keeping it together so that she wouldn't give him the benefit Here's of a reaction. The 63rd floor, where loyal employees relax and recharge. It's pretty late, but I bet people are still here dealing with the aftermath of Sector 7. It's their own damn fault. Stay focused. We need to find this guy. 
Yeah, yeah. Guess I better get working on my conversation skills. All right, so it is 10. And I probably should have stopped before that scene, but you know, we could go on for a few minutes longer. I'm sorry I talked so much. I feel like we still got stuff done though. Took the stairs. Oh my goodness. What's going on? Interesting. Avalanche must have used some heavy duty explosives to do that kind of damage. Night stolen light. Scum sucking cowards don't care who they are. Avalanche must have used some heavy duty explosives to do that kind of damage. All right. Well. An authorized key card, yeah. Well, that's all right. So keep going a little bit longer. All right. We can go up to the next floor. No, we're supposed to be looking for someone here who's nicely dressed. Is this it? Where does this take me? This looks like... They look busy. The plate did just fall. What kind of particular to me? Seeing them like this <laughs> somehow makes me feel a little bit better. Yeah. The support is getting overwhelmed by calls. At least they're trying to do something about it. Let's find our contact. Not seeing any security around. One less thing to worry about. So somebody nicely dressed. Hello. You're nicely dressed, but I don't have the option to interact with you. I don't think I get to go in there. Is this where I came from? Where are you, Mr. Collaborator? Shh. I think we just need to start talking to people who look the part. Remember, say mayor. If they say the best, then we have a winner. I want to... I mean, hopefully we're not going all the way to the end of the game. Is there going to be like an obvious stopping point? Because I don't feel like this is a good stopping point per se, but I'm also not going to go super long. There is a very obvious stopping point. Okay. All right. Well, we'll keep pushing to that. Oh, is that where I came from? Food court. Okay, we're gonna go like investigate people. Oh, can I talk to everybody? Okay, the other person has a talk option, so I can't talk to them. Oh, wait, no, I can talk to everybody. Okay. Yes! Yes! You didn't count on this, did you? Well, hello, sir. Please, just leave me alone. The mayor. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're like literally saying the mayor to everybody. Are you military? Cool, cool. I guess things have been keeping you pretty busy around here. <laughs> you found the guys who did this yet? This guy's a chatter. Huh? Uh, what about the mayor? Never mind. Cloud mm -hmm. is trying to do people. It was like this before the last one started. Hi. This feeling. It was like this before the last one started. All right. Can I talk to any of them? Maybe war is inevitable. I hate being left in the dark like this. Okay. Well. The hell's taking them so damn long. Like these people actually care about. Well, that's because I'm. 
everything else is spinning. Look at this. Look at these. Look at me spinning around these chairs. Yeah, not a chair left standing. Not a chair left standing. This is very important stuff, folks. I can't not knock over every chair. This is just how it goes. If I ever don't knock over chairs, either something really serious is happening that I am not feeling up to with knocking over chairs, or you have an imposter on your hands. Okay, I've read every chair. Wait, no, 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 this chair. Okay, now every chair. I've hit every, wait, no, there's a whole table over there. This is how I know where I've been or not been. Today we welcome a special guest, Shinra's director of public security. Oh, this isn't good. Has an important oh no. <clears throat> Everyone here at Shinra is deeply saddened and out He literally did it. He literally did it. Time, we will not be cowed by threats or violence. To the people of Midgar, I make this vow. We will find the villains responsible and bring them to justice. Are you listening, Avalanche? You cowardly dogs. Run all you like. Shinra is coming. Do you think the other plates are in danger? Is it true that Wutai is going to attack us again? We should be safe here, right? I wonder how the rescue ops are going. Do you think the other plates are in danger? Is it true that Wutai is going to attack us again? We should be safe here, right? Hello. Can I talk to you? Hello there. So, what will it be for you today? The mayor. Mail? Sorry, we don't have any here. Okay, well, I tried. Hello? I mean, she's also not sharply dressed, but you know. Oh, hello? Hello? The mayor. That person has shiny pants. Okay. Gotta catch them all. Oh, man. Combat sim. You can use it to train for battle in a virtual space. Does training in that thing really make you better? Oh, I can't knock these over. Oh, wait. Oh, yes, I can. Yes, I can. And I will. Ha. Ha. Ha ha. Anyway. Hello. All right. Looks like we're supposed to talk to that fellow, but I gotta listen to everyone else. Oh, hello. You're gonna train in the sim at a time like this? The mayor. Hmm? Are you looking for the mayor? Oh my God. He's not on this floor. Oh my God. Well, he's a soldier. He doesn't know. You can't find said on the news, they're just agents of Wu-Tai. Uh-huh. I mean, that's a pretty, that's a pretty effective bit of propaganda. I thought I heard music that sounded like I could have gotten a collectible music. Did I miss a collectible music? Good luck with your sim training. Hello, can you help me? Welcome. What would you like? Oh, okay. I think I've got everything I need, actually. Yeah, well, the hint was useless, but we did get a weapon, so it's all good. Hello, are you our contact? Military, right? Can you give me any tips for doing oh better in the city? The mayor. Mayor? I need to be tough like a horse. Oh my god, I love, I wonder, I wonder what, what, like, misheard puns they did with the, with the, um, Japanese version. You work here? I don't recognize you. Can I help you with something? The mayor is the best. I was told to expect you. You need access to upper floors, right? Very nice. That's right. Before I trust you with this key card, I need to see what you can actually do. Say what? What? Do you know what would happen if you got caught? We're putting our lives on the line here. Prove you're worth it. We have a state-of-the-art combat simulator. It can provide a real challenge, let me tell you. If you beat the sim, then the key card is all yours. <sighs> okay. So do I have to, like, is, is this the stopping point? Or do you guys want me to go in and do this fight and then do a stopping point? T 
two things post fight. I mean, I'm sure I'll want to see them. I just, I don't want to make everyone stay super late past like my usual stream time. Post fight green. Okay. Okay. We'll do it. All right. Let's do it. Okay. What, am I going to have to like fight like Zack or something like that? I will scream. Powerful foes handpicked by a top executive who's also Mayor of Tomlos. Yes. Versus Mayo. Mayor is best. Mayo is best. Sure. Let's do this. Oh man, this is the first combat I've done this entire time. Let's see if I remember how to play the game. Okay, abilities, triple slash. Okay, I think I'm gonna want to do a uh, focus shot on them. Wait, why am I going after their blades? Oh, whatever. Oh man, okay, hold on. Abilities, uh, cheat trap. All right, well, we're having some trouble here. Spell cure yourself. Man, this music is so good. Okay, hold on. Abilities. Uh, Braver. That sounds good. Yeah. We have to remember that these are going to explode on us, though. Okay, abilities. Try triple slashing. Okay, abilities. Focus shot. Yeah. Okay. Abilities, triple slash. Deal with that. Come on. Bang, bang. Can't you sleep in? Okay, so abilities. We're gonna go ahead and do maximum fury on it then. Okay. Oh jeez, cloud's gonna die. Okay, spell cure cloud. Don't let him die. Okay, abilities, braver, yeah. Oof, well that's no good. Okay, okay spell, cure yourself. Abilities, no spells, cure, bear it. Oh my god, I love that guy just like sailing over there. Oh no. Okay, abilities, slash. Don't overdo it. Okay, ability spell, cure, cloud. Okay, abilities, focus shot, see how this goes. Oh, go ahead and kill this guy. Abilities, she trap at this guy. Okay, spell, cure yourself. Okay, he's the one that they're weak to. He's he's got my anti elect or my electricity spell thing going on. Okay, abilities, triple slash. No. What spells have you got? Spell? No, okay. I'm gonna limit break soon. 
Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna, don't worry, we're gonna heal you, Tifa. It's okay, you're fine. Oh man, okay. Spell cure Barret. Oof, well that didn't go so great for me. Spell cure yourself? No, cura yourself. Darn it. I'm like about to limit break here. Okay, limit break. Catastrophe on the cutter, yeah. Alright. Yeah, this guy's not that hard. Alright. Way to go. Yeah, Brian, I absolutely do my same crisis core strategy, especially on those guys. Do I have to do it again? Oh, items cannot be used. Do I have to do it again, or does that count? No? Okay. Yeah, I have all the new limit breaks, which is very exciting. I liked that. He went flying through the air looking very cool. Barrett, you're cool. I mean, you're also kind of a huge dork, but so is our whole party. I love that he remembers the chairs. Hello, I did it, sir. All right, I've seen enough. I'm a man of my word. He looks so young. Here, this key card will grant you access to the 64th floor. You can use the elevator to get there. Once you're up there, just what is it you plan on doing? We came to get one of our friends. She's being held in a research lab somewhere. A lab? Then she must be with Professor Hojo. Hojo's bad news. Easy to get to her. Access to R&D is limited to authorized personnel only. We'll find a way in. You know where we can find Hojo? A board meeting is scheduled to start soon. We just It's being held in the main up. conference room. President Shinra, Professor Hojo, and the other directors will be in attendance. <sighs> Think they like surprises? We can even take the president as a hostage. Think of the leverage. Try it, and security will be on your asses in seconds. We need to find out what they're planning. <gasps> spy in their meeting. Did you see? I have an idea. Head to the men's restaurant. Did you see? You can climb into the air ducts there. They go all the way to the conference room. Thanks for the tip. Oh, he's wearing his lab coat. Okay. Hello, child. Well, I've been waiting for you. Oh my god, he's got forgotten. his lab coat. I love him. I'm an intern in the R&D division here. I love him so I much. I took the liberty of hacking into the executive's <laughs> private network to monitor your progress through the building. <laughs> I will support oh my you in any way that I can. <laughs> I sense a surge in trust. <laughs> we should keep this brief to avoid suspicion. Oh my god. He's so cute. He's so cute. I love this little, little child. Oh, there was something I needed to get. I wanted, I was hoping I would be able to buy more of. So I own, oh, I don't own any of these. I don't know. Oh, yes, we're going to buy that one. I don't know if I'm going to want it, but they're offering me multiples. So well, uh, you expect me to parry? That would never happen. I've come up with the most fascinating theory. I love this child. Perhaps you can lend me your assistance in gathering data to test it. Oh man, okay. I feel like I feel like I'm gonna have to come back and do that. But um gotta be a way to beat it. Alright, so is there something else that, that is like a more obvious thing? Sell short. What? One last cutscene. Okay. One more thing at the stairs. All right. Let's see where are they? We even are the stairs. Oh, are they down here? Okay. The chairs. Uh oh. Cloud. Uh -oh. 
right? Holy shit! It's cool, bro. We went through training together. Damn. So you're still alive and kicking, huh? Some of the guys heard you got smoked, but I told them it was all bullshit. Hey, sit tight, man. I'm gonna go get Kunso. I'll be right back. Old buddy. You okay? I know that name. Isn't that my pal? Yeah. But you were just. I'm good. Oh, that means he's still alive. Let's keep moving. Was it, wasn't, was it, was, okay, was that, or was that not, because I know that name. Was that not my, my idiot friend who was like, oh, actually, maybe they're going to get mad at me for sending these emails? Oh, my God. He lived. He lived. Also, though. Okay, so, like. Ah, uh, yes, he was. Oh, man. Yeah, because he was, because he was, he was trying to help me out the whole time. And then, like, I was, I was convinced he was going to die in that game. I was convinced that he was going to die. I was like, you can't keep poking around in this stuff. They're going to get you, man. <sighs> okay. So playing this as, okay, so if you, if you, I guess, have never played any Final Fantasy VII related things before, you're like, well, that's weird. But if you're if you've played Final Fantasy VII, then I guess you already know. I don't know. But the moment that guy showed up and said Cloud's name, like ah, uh, I, as the person playing the sequel to Crisis Core, know exactly what just happened. And I was like, I know that name. I know that name. I know that name. I know Console. <sighs> oh my god, I was so worried. I was okay. Those of you who watched me play th that game, again, my memory and Cloud's memory, we both have bad memories right now. I kept saying I was worried about him. I loved him. He was my friend. I'm so glad that he's still around. I'm so glad that he's okay. <laughs> Cause like, Sung has totally let me down. But Kinsel is still alive. So that's okay. Well, did you get what you wanted <laughs> reaction wise from that moment? Oh my God. I don't know why it didn't occur to me that that might happen. <sighs> but see, Sal, it's completely different. It is not living a lie. Cloud literally doesn't remember. He doesn't know what's going on. He's not like, oh shoot. These guys are going to see through me because he doesn't know that there's anything to see through. Not consciously, I don't think. So it's very different. Because he, he starts having a headache because it's his memories that are messed up. Yeah, no, he's, he's like, something is, something is wrong. This is wrong. Oh, man, I'm so glad that console is OK, though. He was my pal. And possibly, possibly in love with Zack, but who could blame him? Like, Zack is fantastic. I don't know who's going to fall in love with who in Shinra High. I mean, they're in high school, so they can just have maximum drama all the time. Oh my god, that was amazing. And it's, you don't expect it. Like, if, if you hadn't told me there was going to be a thing, I would have completely not expected anything. And I certainly didn't expect that. Oh boy. Oh boy. Right, well... That's exciting. I don't have to speculate about that because I know what that is. Man, oh man, man, oh man, oh man, oh man. I'm just, I'm, I'm waiting for them to more directly include Zach in some capacity and I'm going to lose my mind. <laughs> You've already seen me lose my mind when I thought that there was going to be Zach. So we'll see. So that was very awkward for Cloud. Very, very satisfying for me. And Zach's pal is okay. And that's actually, I'm actually like legitimately really happy because, because yeah, like, no, I remember, I wasn't sure if that was like the name that went with the right person. But I'm like, I know that name. <sighs> that's my friend. Oh man. 
He's gonna be like, why do you have Zack's sword? Because this is Zack's sword that Cloud is carrying around. It's very distinctive. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. We went like almost half an hour over, but that's okay. All right. I'm still trying to finish up my Crisis Core cover. Um, I re-recorded the vocals today. Um, I have to try to mix the drum kit this weekend. Um, but yeah, so those of you who saw the VGM Together show, you know what it is. You don't know, well, you're going to find out. I will be debuting it next week or the following week whenever it's done on this stream. Um, so, yeah. Um, and then there will hopefully be a chapter before I finish this game. I'll put a chapter up. So, look forward to that. Um, yeah, and he's like, I knew you'd be fine. Yeah, no, that's. I think that's really cute and sweet and wholesome. I, uh... I, I, well, just, cause like they're, they're Zach's friends or, or Cloud's friends or like, like good, good, charming, delightful people. The good people of Shinra. There's a lot of bad people, but there's also some good people just not higher up except for apparently Reeve, who is apparently somebody important instead of just a random dude. I don't even know. Was that in the original? I don't know. I don't remember. Anyway, yeah. Um, I don't know exactly how close I am to starting Stormblood, but I might just like awkwardly kind of start streaming Final Fantasy XIV next Wednesday. So if you want to see how that goes, save next uh, next Wednesday evening um, from 8 till 10. Um, and we'll see how that goes, kind of feel it out. Um, yes, it feels real. Oh, 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 I'm really enjoying this. Um, and again, for anyone who, who missed it um, earlier in the stream, uh, after this, we're going to play Hades and then Disco Elysium. After Sweet Odin 2 on Tuesdays, we're going to play Horizon Zero Dawn. So I figured out my gaming of the future. So make your plans accordingly. Save, save, save the game, Lauren. Save. Because, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it should be a lot of good ones. Yes, because I have really big feelings about the Greek gods. Okay. Like, really big feelings. Ha! Huh. Okay, Loki. Well, I'm glad that I was able to deliver the reaction that you wanted. Yeah, no, future Lauren will be very glad that I saved that because I might accidentally unplug things because I'm going to be fiddling around. Um, but yeah, thank you all so much for joining. Um, I'm going to raid somebody if I can find somebody to raid uh, because that's a fun thing to do. Hold on. Uh... Oh, we, you know, we can, we, so we have a couple of options here. We can either go raid my friend Brenneman, who most of you know, or we can go raid, um, there's a, there's a person who wrote the chapter on Final Fantasy VI as an opera. Do you want to go raid him? Let's do that. Shall we? I'm going to raid him. I don't know. He's, he, they, I don't know how his streams go, but, um, he apparently talks about things. Okay. Let's do that. That should be fun. All right. Well, thank you all so much. Um, it has been a delight and I will see you later.